Okay. No, we just wanted to take a Yes. Yes. Uh, can we, like I said before, I'm very... Okay. We want to get on... I'll we'll uh, talk to you about the polygraph stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just very... Uh, sub very subconscious about my hair. Okay. So I didn't want to take this off while well, you were looking. Yeah. And right now I'm thinking about it again. Okay, yeah, yeah I got plenty plugs, of room for that. Got plugs all over the place. You need anything else out of there? So, uh, no, just, uh, let's see, I got this key thing you gave me, so that gets me in and out, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yep. I'll just keep right. it there. Okay. Good job. Yeah. So, how are you doing? Um, uh, I've been better. Yeah? How long you been here? Uh, I don't, don't know what time it is. Uh, several hours. Oh, okay. Well, it's just, uh, it's, uh, mid-afternoon. Uh, I got out here at. I came over from Klamath Falls. You know where that is? Yes, I got I got here at. Uh, let's see, they got me out of bed at eight. Probably okay. I, I was probably here at ten. Looks like they're maybe. okay. Looks like they're taking care of you. They're feeding you some food and some um, stuff. I'm not really hungry. Do you mind if we move that food and your sweater over to this other um, chair here? I'm gonna need that whole table. Can I'll I call you me. Susan? Yes. Um, you can call me Chris. Chris? Yep, it's my Chris. name. Okay. <coughs> they do not have a waste paper bag in here. Well, I'll just set it aside over there. So you can I mean, this here. Okay. I'll clean that up later. Have you ever had a polygraph before? Um. I did one time. What was that about? Um. Uh, But I do, I do think I, I think I did have one. Really? Why wouldn't you remember? Uh, I think you'd remember unless it was maybe a long time ago. It, it was, yeah, it was 30 or 40 years ago. I oh, don't. Oh, jeez. Um, I do not remember a lot of stuff. I'm, uh, I'm very good at spatial geometry and remembering numbers. Okay. Uh, I have a friend like that. Um, I do not remember people at all, or or uh, I have a bad concept of time. Okay. So um, when they're asking me questions about what happened three weeks ago, I'm trying to, you know, figuring a month on either direction. I'm, I've been working on my property for... 22 years now, going on 23, okay. and uh, uh, I cannot remember when different things happened along that time span. Okay. Well, obviously, I'm here to do a polygraph exam, so yeah. <coughs> I'm all about just what's true and what's not true. So, I will, you know about that stuff, right? Yeah, you understand I will, yes, I know what polygraph is. Okay. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about it a little bit later. Um, i got all this equipment I need to set up. Pulse, blood pressure, mm -hmm. and uh, skin electrical conductivity. Good job. How do you remember all that stuff? Um, I guess I remember all kinds of things. Do you watch it on TV or things like yeah, that? Yeah, I, I, I watch um, uh, crime shows on TV a lot. Which one's your favorite? Uh, I watch a lot of them, too. Oh, gosh. Um, Try to get some, get some ideas for the work I do. Uh, I like the, uh, the British uh, British things more than anything else. The what? British. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, 
There's one called um, um, Rosemary and Time. Yeah, that's. I've never heard of that one. Um, it's. Um, um, Sounds like something off of that old song. Yeah, it's Star right there. Affair. Yeah, I guess it's something to do with that to start with. But there's these um, two women that meet. One is um, an ex-cop. And uh, the uh, the other one's an arborist. Okay. And uh, huh. they they meet and uh, they go out and solve crimes. Where I mean, it's one of those you know stupid things. You go out and uh, to, you go out to trim a tree and find a body. Okay. You know, it, 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 for the most part, it's things that are not plausible. Little things are a little unusual. Yeah. Um, Not normal. Yeah. Um, you know the. Um, Excuse me if I bump you with these things. Yeah. I'm just trying to set them in here. Oh, I can move a little bit. Yeah, if you just move over just a little bit, whatever you're comfortable with. Well, I'm, I'm almost sure. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable back in my pocket. Gotcha. Yeah, um, me too. Um, I'm most comfortable at home. Um, I have not had an anxiety attack yet. Mostly because there's only been, you know, uh, two or three people around okay. me. Well, I do have anxiety attacks when there's a, a large group, and I was starting to have one when I was in the car, and uh, okay. there's seven people standing there, which is supposed to be searching for things, and uh, I'm sitting in the, in the car, starting to go crazy. I did not. Well, how about me? Are you comfortable with me? No. No, I'm not. You're not comfortable with me? No, I mean, I am comfortable. Oh, okay. I, 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 I'm fine with one or two people. Okay. But when a large group of people, I start to get anxious. Okay. Um, I went, uh, uh, went to Jackson County Mental Health. Okay. And uh, psychiatrists and psychologists down there, they were taking all kinds of pills and trying to give them to me. And um, as long as I'm left alone, I'm fine. Do you have a mental health diagnosis, Susan? Um, I have, um, you know, pro uh, problems with people. Okay. That's, a, that's basically the whole thing. They I didn't put a name on it? They call it mm -hmm. some? Uh, if, they did, I, if they did, I can't remember what okay. it was. But basically, I just, I, I don't do good around a bunch of people. You know, I have a son that's kind of like that. It's a post-traumatic stress sort of a thing. Um, but he was in the service. I was also. You were? Yes, I was in the Navy. When, when was that? Um, <coughs> the 60, no, 60, 67 to 71. You must be a little bit older than me. Cause I, I just turned... 65. Okay, yeah, you're about 10 years older than me. Yeah. I was just a kid then. Yeah. 67. It's about 8 or 9. Yeah. What did you do in the Navy? Uh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> not At least much. you're honest about it. Some people, uh, some people claim um, they're so, they're so uh, Rambo or something. Oh, uh, no, I was, I was never Rambo. Uh, most of what I did was storekeeping. Okay. So um, when I um, um, when I got back to the United States, I was at um, Mare Island, um, north of San Francisco, on the other side of the bay. Okay. I know um, where Petaluma is. I know where the Coast Guard base is, north of uh, San Francisco. My my. my um, Aunt and uncle had a place there in Petaluma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah my or, cousin. Or San, San, actually, Santa Rosa. A, oh, fr yeah. a, a friend, a friend of theirs, was in Petaluma, and that's where I learned to milk a cow. Um. And uh, then my aunt and uncle had a small, um, uh, small. Uh, orchard. 
had, had, had a small orchard with a uh, couple dozen trees of different kinds. And uh, um, we'd go up there every once in a while. Well, I'm just getting my little program started here. But um, to polygraph, Susan, is a little bit of a process. I don't hurry through anything. I know you've been here a while, but it doesn't take a long time, but it's a little bit of a process just to make sure that um, I'm being absolutely as fair as I can to people and running good tests. I don't, I don't, want, I don't ever want to run bad tests. I don't like bad information. It doesn't, doesn't help. And so that's where we're at on that. So um, one of the things I need Yes, so your last name is it M O N I C A? Correct. Susan. Yeah, S U S A M. It's, uh, say that again? S U S A M. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought I said. And what's your birth date? July 8th, 48. So, and just to make sure that the, <clears throat> the detectives and everything were all completely fair with you and all, you know that they record this room and the conversations that yes. go on in here. Okay. okay so make well, sure I, that did, I didn't know if it was recording in here now, but I, they, he had a recorder in here. Yeah. So. Yeah, they, they, these rooms are all kind of automatic, I think, once I, you walk in. Yeah, I kind of thought that. I saw cameras outside, or I saw, I didn't see cameras, I saw okay. video screens outside. Uh, <clears throat> oh, right out here? Yes. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit about me. I mean, I used to be a detective, I too. Can't, I can't read anything. Okay. I don't have classes. I'll read it to you. Would okay. you be able to sign it if I read it to you? Yes. Okay. Um, I used to be a detective, too. I'm retired now, but I still do polygraph exams sometimes for for uh, police agencies or whoever right. you know, needs to work. There's not too many of us in the state that do it, so yeah. um, that's why I'm here. And I just was, uh, was available this afternoon, and they wanted to make sure they could clear you of anything if they could, so they wanted to get on that, okay? So let me read this to you. You have the right to take or not to take a polygraph exam, okay? You don't have to take it. Although the results of the polygraph examination may not be admissible in a criminal or civil trial, anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. If you decide to take a polygraph examination, you can stop the examination anytime you wish. Yes. You understand that? Yes. You understand each of those rights as I've explained them to you? Yes. And having these rights in mind, you wish to take a polygraph exam? Um, not real happy about it, but I won't do it. I only got yes or no. Which uh, one should yes, I check? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so let me write your name in here. Monica. Susan, do you have a middle name? No. Okay. And here's my name. And 14, and I got about three. All I need you to do then, since just acknowledge that I read those to you, was sign your name right in there right. somewhere. Uh, hmm. Or not. You don't have um, to. It's just I just want to make sure uh, that... Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> shaking a little bit, I guess. That's okay. Weird, I can't sign my own name. That's okay. That's okay. Am I making you nervous? <laughs> Duh. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thank you. So one of the things I need to do, Susan, is make sure it's a good day for you to take a polygraph exam. If there's not other issues that would make it not a good day. Um. So let's, <laughs> let's talk about that for a second, okay? We can fill most of this stuff out later. Your birthday was July 18th, is that right? 8th. 8th. 48th. Okay. And do you live at your place by yourself most of the time? Most of the time. 
you know, are you a, would you consider yourself a farmer, or what do you consider yourself as an occupation? Uh, occupation. I raise pigs. Okay. And uh, I do ornamental ironwork for um, cu- custom. I do custom ornamental ironwork. Like, so you weld and all that other stuff? Yes. And you um, bend all that stuff. Um, most of it's cut, but some some of the things that I bend, I have a, uh, a roller that I built. Okay. And uh, I have a uh, metal lathe that I put uh, some extra reduction uh, parts onto it. Okay. So that uh, I've got a two-horse motor that turns at 13 RPMs, which gives me a tremendous amount of strength. Yeah. A lot of power in that. Uh, one, one, one horsepower is the capability to um, to move 33,000 pounds one foot in one minute. I'm full of you stuff. got some facts up I'm there. Full, I'm full of stuff. Thir- yeah, thir- 33,000 pounds one foot in one minute. And I have a, I believe it's a two-horse motor that turns uh, at 13 RPMs, okay. which gives me a tremendous amount of force, which allows me to take um, solid steel that's um, five-eighths of an inch square and bend it into a four-inch circle. That's it, amazing. It just, you know, it, uh, I built a... Um, I built a, uh, a, uh, a shaft with a dog on it, which will grab the steel and then turn it. Mm-hmm. Just basically wind it. Just, yes, it makes a like a spring. Mm-hmm. So I take a 20-foot piece of steel and turn it into um, a dozen rings wow. in, uh, in a matter of uh, less than a minute. That's impressive. Um, Must be a little artistic too to be able to figure out that I'm, stuff. I'm uh, I'm a pretty good engineer. I studied studied engineering and architecture and mathematics and um, um, I never got a degree. Um, at the time, I figured it was um, kind of useless. I did. Um, I don't really. Um, I was telling the other officers, um, I kind of like Star Trek, and I'm mostly um, Vulcan, and I have a little bit of Klingon in there when I get mad, but um, I think of everything very logically, and uh, um, I was telling the, the one officer just a couple minutes ago, that uh, there are diseases like uh, sickle cell anemia that could be um, dealt with very simply by having people that have that gene to not have kids. And in one generation, we would not have that disease anymore. Okay. Um, China ha- allows people to have one child, yeah. which is very good. Um, in India, you got a billion people in this little spot, um, and um, it's stupid. I think that um, I do not condone the going out and killing of people just for no reason. But if somebody does get killed, I'm not very concerned about it because there's seven billion people on this planet, okay. and we are. So you're pragmatic about life in general. Yes. Comes in and goes. Yes. Uh, that's pretty. Uh, um, that's probably pretty normal for someone that I, works a farm. Animals yeah, come I don't, and go. Um, yeah, I don't. Uh, um, um, <coughs> I 
I d the reason this happened was um, I do not feel um, that any person or animal should suffer. Okay. And <coughs> I'm, I'm not. I didn't think that he was going to live more than another couple of minutes, but he was definitely suffering. Okay. And I ended the suffering. Okay. Yeah, they told me a little bit about that. Yeah. Let's. Uh, we'll talk a little I bit more about know, that. I didn't, I didn't we'll, know what they told you to start with. Yeah, I had a little bit of a briefing, but most mostly I just like to talk to well, people from the that, interview. Well, that's that's why I'm. Okay. Talking about it again. Do you have any concerns about taking any uh, polygraph examination today? Uh, no. Have you had any injury or major surgery in the last six months? No. Okay. Have you eaten today? Uh, one bite of a sandwich. Okay. This is just to make sure that's a good day for you to take a test. Yeah. Did you sleep last night? Yes. Do you have any of these conditions? Do you have diabetes? No. Do you have high or low blood pressure, or do you know? Uh, no. Blood pressure is very good. Okay. Do you have heart disease? No. Do you have seizure disorders? No. Are you intoxicated now with anything? No. So you know alcohol in the past 24 hours or so? Okay. I had a margarita um, that was very weak on the third Thursday of last month. <laughs> okay, wow. Where was that? A uh, Mexican restaurant in Rowe River. I don't remember where it's at. Okay. Yeah. Um, have on you the, used any other... Narcotics in the last no. couple of days? No, I take a handful of vitamins every morning and evening. On the third Thursday of each month, uh, myself and a small group get together to go out somewhere and have lunch. Oh, who's that? Whose group is that? Is that a club or something you belong to? It's it, it's not really that I belong to it or anything. It's just kind of a loose compilation of people that um, have animals, and most of the people that are on the group now really don't have animals aside from you know dogs and birds okay. um, the one one other person that um, had um, um, pigs and sheep and goats okay. uh, he um, he hasn't been uh, he hasn't been hmm, he hasn't been to a meeting in probably a year. So, Susan, um, you don't take any medications other than the vitamins? No. Have you ever been diagnosed by a, a doctor or professional medical person with depression or anxiety? Yes. Okay. Which one? Both of them or just anxiety? Uh, you mentioned an anxiety. I don't, okay. I don't think anybody ever said I was depressed. I, uh, I get depressed occasionally and... Um, um, most of the time, if I just go out and sit next to a tree and look at my little 20 acres, I'm okay. happy in just a short period of time. Okay. And you don't remember what your mental health diagnosis was, if they had a name for it or anything like that? Or no. you just do better when you're alone? Right? I just I do better when I'm alone. I, uh, I get these anxiety things like um, when... When I go to shop, I uh, um, what do you call the things on horses? Blinders. Blinders. Okay. Um, I mentally put blinders on myself when I walk around the store so that I can go from the produce section to the meat section to the bread section and sure. whatever. Um, I try not to look at people, okay. and um, I manage quite well. I never really did take any of the drugs that they were prescribing. I would just go okay. home and relax. Um, one time, this was a long time ago, 10 years, 8 years, something, I don't know. Uh, I was in uh, Food for Less, 
and I had an anxiety attack, and I was up at the checkout counter, and there was still a couple people in front of me, and I just walked outside and left the basket there, cart out of there, and told the girl that I'd be back in a couple minutes. And I went outside, I sat in my car, and I was calming down. I was, you know, getting myself back to reality. And uh, a paramedic came up and knocked on the door of the car and uh, said, you all right? And I said, yeah, I'm fine, go away. And that made it worse. And then there was a second one that came up behind him. So that made it a little bit more worse. And I tried to explain to him that, you know, I was okay just having an anxiety attack. And I'd be all right in a couple of minutes. And they kind of made it worse because I managed to get one of them to go away. And the second one took my blood pressure, and, um, which was at that time way up there, wherever. Sure. And um, I managed to uh, convince them to go away and leave me alone. Apparently... Um, somebody in the store had called the paramedics and okay. came, they came out to see what was wrong with me. Just doing their job, huh? Yeah, well, like I say, it was, it was, it, it, it made it worse if they had just, you know, if, if they had left me alone for a few more minutes, I would have been just fine. Okay. Susan, do you know um, what you're suspected of or why you're down here or yes. why they're talking to you? Can you tell me in your own words what that is? Um, they, they think that I um, killed Robert for absolutely no reason or whatever. Or they or that I did have a reason, but it was um, it was the fact that he might have uh, come after me or something. And I told them at no time in the several months that he had been there, that we ever had any kind of a um, physical or um, even verbal uh, confrontation, trying to pick words, uh, uh, that would have resulted in my deliberately killing him. To the best of your knowledge, Susan, has anybody else ever died on your property? Human, I mean? No. Okay. Would you tell me if there had been? Um, I guess no. <laughs> Appreciate your honesty. Trying. I tried to avoid this whole thing to start with. Yeah. And, um, um, Apparently they found a leg somewhere, and I, um, uh, the only my, my, the only explanation that I have is before before I went out and picked up his remains, is that one of the legs was moved somewhere else, uh, and I didn't see it, and possibly a coyote moved it to where it is caught where it was found. Okay. That's, um, that's <clears throat> my hypothesis. Um, well, why don't you tell me, if you don't mind, just go through the story one more time, since I really don't have it all, as far as what happened to Robert. Uh, uh, when I actually shot him, or... How far people Oh, how we'll far see. Uh, what is what I heard? That he'd lived there for a while and then he disappeared at some point. Didn't know where he was at. Right. Okay. So that was, the day that uh, the day that you found Robert, that was in the pen. That was that was. Um, is it a pen or what is it? Yeah, it's a yeah pen, I guess. Okay. Um, his uh, his son Bobby called me. 
and I'm thinking that that was approximately a month after I had seen him last. Okay. And uh, uh, the couple times that uh, Robert was really drunk, he went off on this thing that he wanted to go and um, take care of the person or people, I don't know which, um, that raped his daughter. Um, I had talked to I had talked to Bobby, and uh, I um, was concerned at that time that they had not contacted you um, because Bobby had told me that um, his sister usually heard from him uh, once or twice a week. Okay. So. After, after a month, approximately, uh, I was um, slightly concerned that he did not talk to his daughter. Uh, I told him uh, what was going on, and um, he did not seem concerned at all. And then it was probably a week to a week and a half after that, that um, I came down in the morning and um, I saw the um, pigs on something. They did not go to where, when when they generally see me in the morning, they go around to the back of the barn to be fed. And they were, um, the three, three of them were um, together out in the middle of the pen. And um, it surprised me. So I went through the gate a little bit. And uh, I saw them um, eating, which, you know, I, and I did not know at that very moment what, what was going on. I just saw them. What, they, what what looked to be eating, I guess. And uh, I stood there for a couple of seconds. And then I walked closer. Um, saw what was going on. Took my hand and hit them um, to try to get them off. I saw that... Uh, um, you know, he was laying there with his guts all over the place, and that he was being eaten, what I believed to be alive. Um, the more I the more I think about it, he may not have been alive. I I still don't know. I thought I, I was telling the officer I thought that I saw his arm move, and I did hear a little moaning. And um, the more I the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking that his arm moving was simply the pigs moving the rest of the body. Okay. So you know, if the body's going like this, the arm is moving a little bit. Um, uh, but I'm pretty sure I did hear moaning. Okay. And. Um, when I was unable to get them to move, um, I went up to my house and I got my gun and shot him at least once. I, uh, I really don't know how many times I shot him. Okay. And then what happened? Um, then, um, um, then I kind of, um, I was worried about uh, the police coming out, and uh, I was not, I was not really concerned about him. Uh, I had, uh, I do not have a lot of medical knowledge. But 
I did not believe he was going to live more than a couple of minutes if, you know, if he was in the Bethesda hospital or, you know, in, if he was in the best hospital in the world, I did not believe he was going to last more than a couple of minutes. So, uh, I, I put him out of his misery. Um, I do that, you know, I do that for my animals, and this was the first time I did it for a, a human being. I didn't feel that, um, I mean, I knew it was wrong, but I didn't really think of it in that perspective. If, um, if it were one of my pigs suffering out there, I would have done the same thing. Okay. Um, and um, then I went ahead and um, was thinking about my pigs. And um, worrying that if I told anybody that they were going to come out and shoot all my pigs for doing what pigs do. Um, they, um, I will go out there right now and uh, uh, go up to every one of them and pet, pet them on the head. Sure. I am not, a, not afraid of my animals at all. They are not vicious animals. Um, I have no idea what uh, what caused this to happen? Uh, I I do not know uh, how or why he ended up in the pig pen. Okay, and that's one of the big questions you know that they have is basically. I, I have. Did you have anything to do with him getting into that pen none, originally? None, none, none at all. To the best to the best of my knowledge. He had never gone into the pig pen, nor had, nor he had ever, nor he, nor he at any time fed my animals. Okay. I go down in the morning and evening and I feed my animals and give them water and make sure that everything is okay. I, well, this is the biggest thing that makes no sense to me is why he would be in their pig pen. Um, and. You can ask me four times tomorrow and three times the day after. I have, it doesn't make any sense why he was out there. I can't even, I can't even start to think of a reason. Yeah, and the detectives are having a hard time with it too. I mean, they're just trying to figure out how in the world could this have happened um, that way. Um, so did. Um, and and the other thing is, I don't know when. Uh, I don't, I don't believe that he was there for any length of time, <coughs> because if he was out there, um, if he was out there for some, if he was out there for some length of time, before I saw him in the morning, mm -hmm. um, um, unless it happened, you know, late at night. Um, I mean, you know, before at at the time of the evening feeding, um, I didn't hear any noise. I didn't hear well, any. You would have seen him if he was there during no, the feeding. No. No. no um, uh, my barn is here. You feed him in the back. Somewhere. And yeah, the barn. Well, the the barn is here, and they have a large pen out here. It's about 100 foot square or something. So they have this large barn out, large area out there, which is just basically dirt. They've eaten everything. And uh, so there's this large area out there, and I very seldom go out there. And he was out there. And if he had been, uh, if he had been injured the, uh, the night before, uh, before I, you know, be, before I went out there for the evening feeding, uh, I should have been able to hear him yelling or something, yeah. and I did not. 
and they came over right away and got their evening meal. It was normal. Yes, it was normal. So did, did Robert drive a car or anything? He had a pickup truck and a motorcycle. Do you know where that is? They're both on. Well, the motorcycle is still on my property. The relatives took the truck. Okay. Uh, he did not like driving the truck because it, you know, got terrible gas mileage, and something was wrong with the clutch on his motorcycle, and it, he had shown it to me, and I thought it was okay. So when he was gone for a while, and then showed up here this day, was his truck back, or it had... It had never left. It never left. It, it, it never left. Okay. This motorcycle is, too? Motorcycle too. This is the other... Uh, the other... Uh, other uh, um, um, the other thing is the other thing of interest okay, okay. the other the other okay. thing of interest is um, a uh, white car okay and um, Did you tell the detectives about that? Yes, okay. yes. And like I said, that's another thing of interest, and they don't know anything about. Okay. So, uh, approximately one month before his son called me, um, he came up. At, well, okay, a few a few days before that, he had gotten into a big. Um, drunk and rampage and destroyed the room that he was staying in. I did not know about the camper, Chef Camper. But he made a big mess in the room that he was staying in. And uh, it was his stuff, so, you know, if you want to wreck your own stuff, what, whatever. But then, approximately a month after that, um, his son called and uh, said that... Um, he hadn't heard from his father, and that his daughter was very concerned because he used to call her a couple times a week, which made me concerned that I don't understand why they did not call you. You know, at at that time, I said, "Well, if your father had been missing for a month, you know, you." Should should have called the police. <coughs> and then it was approximately uh, a week and a half after that, that I had talked to Bobby, that I came down in the morning and saw what I saw. And uh, if... Uh, uh, if he had attacked me for some reason, uh, and I had killed him, I would have called you immediately and say, "Hey, look, this guy, you know, pulled a knife on me or whatever, and um, busted in my room, and I shot him." That kind of sounds like something that the detectives might have talked to you about already. As they did, you know. I, you know, they 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 tried to get me to say that we were fighting. Okay. And at, I will pre repeat this. I'm not sure why we're all hooked up. But anyway, uh, I'm not sure um, why they felt that way. But at <coughs> I, uh, at no time. You know, during the time that I knew him, okay. did we get into any kind of a fight? Okay. Was he sick before, or was did he have any problems with him before medically? Or I have no idea. Okay. So why do you think um, the detectives think that you might have killed him before the pigs ate him? I have no idea. Does that make sense to you that they might think that that happened? Well, it makes it it it, it makes sense that. They think it might have happened, okay. but I have, um, um, he, he never attacked me or anything. If, if, if I had, you know, if I had killed him for a reason, 
Uh, but, you know, to kill somebody for making a mess, I, you know. Well, I, it's happened you know, before. I, I mean, I've known of other cases where things happen, and accidents happen too. Yeah. I mean, you know. No, it, uh, this, this, was, this was not an accident. Yeah. Um, he, um, um, he did not at any time threaten me. Um, well, that sounds believable. I mean, I believe yeah. you. That sounds believable. Yeah. Um, if you know, if, if if he had threatened me or something, I would have been more um, um, more concerned about you know leave. And um, they were they were concerned about his food stamp card. Okay. And uh, um, because you used that or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, I had uh, be- before all this had happened. Um, he was um, he was more logical, like I am, which, to my knowledge. Um, not now, to my, um, whatever, anyway, to, to, my, to my feeling, uh, would not cause him to be um, suicidal or anything like that. I'm starting to get cold. Um, uh, I did not feel... I don't know if there's a thermostat in here or not. I doubt it. Um, uh, I did not feel that... Um, he was depressed, as other people have said. Mm-hmm. Um, my, uh, one, my one neighbor said that she had talked to him and that he was very depressed, and I did not get that feeling from him. Okay. Um, but um, he occasionally drank, and instead of uh, him, his motorcycle was busted. Or not working for some reason. Apparently, it was the clutch. But anyway, his his motorcycle didn't work. So instead of taking his truck to go get a beer, he gave me his food stamp card and said, "Here, go buy a few things for yourself." And at the beginning, I remember buying coffee uh, using his food stamp card and getting a couple things for myself. And then taking my money and buying a couple of beers. Uh, and then later, I just you know, uh, I at, after the that first time, I gave him the card back. And then later, he gave me the card again and never asked for it back. And then I thought that um, I thought that he had gotten this some kind of work in uh, in Ashland. <clears throat> and um, I did think that you know he, I thought I did I did think that he was you know working there in mm-hmm. Ashland. And then when Bob, Bob, when Bobby called and said that his sister had not heard from him in a month, you know that got me did you a little worried a little bit worried, but I didn't feel it was my. Um, my problem. So, Susan, um, if someone actually caused his death before he was in distress, like for whatever reason, and didn't call the police about it, what do you think should happen to someone like that? Um, say that again. Well, I mean, you say that you shot him because you thought he was a goner anyway. Yes. If he was even still alive. Yes. So let's say that's not the case. Let's say it was something else. And let's say, um, uh, let's say someone killed um, Robert uh, for any other reason and no. threw him okay. in the pen. Uh, what do you think should happen to that go to, person? Go to jail. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'm not. Um, I don't like people. I think, you know, if we got rid of a billion or two, <laughs> the world would be a lot better. 
uh, for a short time until we repopulated again. And make, you know, we're, I think that the human race is making a big mess of this planet. Um, but no, if um, if you simply kill people for no reason, okay. you should go to jail. Okay. For how long do you think they should go to jail? Um, two weeks. <laughs> Are you just kidding? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I. That's not up to me. Well, I'm I'm asking you because I'm curious as to how you feel about that. Uh, um, um, does it matter to you whether it was uh, an accidental killing or an on-purpose killing? Would that make a difference to you? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, no, if. Um, um, well, the other officer, I mean, I've been joking about this for a long time, long, much longer than before I actually shot somebody, um, that I was going to feed people to my pigs. And uh, I have heard, I have not read any conclusive evidence or anything to the fact that if you feed meat to a pig, it doesn't do them good. Um, so I generally don't feed the, my pigs any kind of meat. If I do, it's you know just soup bone kind of things. Uh, I, I feed them when when I kill another animal. Uh, most of the time, I'll give them the the guts, um, and then uh, uh, like a, you know liver and stuff on. Uh, but no, if um, if it's an accident, um, um, which, to the best of my knowledge, this was not an a- this was not an accident by me. Okay. And I, I, you know. To the best of your knowledge, you said. Is it possible that something else happened? No, uh, no. I, should, I guess I okay. I phrased that wrong. I'm okay, well, I, you know, I do listen to words. Yes, you know, okay. I, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, and I'm, I think you do too. Yes, I try to. I'm, 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 I'm bad with words, and it, well, I, don't I, think so. I, I get. It, it takes me a long time for words to get from the back to the front. Um, it, you know, uh, this was not. This was not an accident. Had it been an accident. Um, I'd, you know, I'd be home right now, uh, <laughs> uh, or would hope to be home. Uh, this was not an accident uh, caused by me. Um, if um, if if somebody killed Robert and threw him out in the pen in the evening. Um, that's something I could not believe to happen, but I guess anything is possible. Would they be able to um, do that at your place without you knowing about it? Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean that's you know it's it's something that's um, possible, but um, uh, oh. Um, Sherlock Holmes said, um, um, "Eliminate the, eliminate the impossible, and whatever's left is the truth." Something like that. <laughs> um, Arthur Conan Doyle, uh, Sherlock Holmes. I've um, done that too. I've quoted Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> realizing that he's not even. Arthur, yeah, Arthur, Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, he he said something to that effect. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, it would be not impossible and probably actually um, if somebody came in at you know, 2 o'clock in the morning and stabbed him, threw him over the fence um, I would not have known about it until the morning okay so, um, I, I don't want you to joke about this question, because I, I, I see uh, you joke sometimes. I, I, yeah, I, I uh, do have a very weird sense of humor. Under what circumstances, Susan, do you think someone who actually 
murdered Robert should get a second chance or killed him for another reason? What, what circumstances do you think they should get a second chance? Like not be punished by the law or anything like that? Um. Can you think of one? Um. To not be punished at all? Yeah. Um. Is there any circumstance you can think of where someone who killed Robert differently than you say how it happened should get a second chance? Well, I, like, I, like I said before, if if I had killed him for trying to rape me or break, you know, something like that, then it's justifiable homicide. Okay. But if... Um, um, so there is some justification. Well, there. yes, but um, no. Uh, I mean, there, there, there is justification in that sense, but I, could, I cannot think of I, I cannot think of a reason for killing someone um, um, just for the hell of it or um, um, uh, um, Uh, because you're, you know, you're, you're having a sexual fantasy or something, and you kill somebody, you know, you strangle them or whatever. Uh, okay. uh, I can't. Uh, in in those in those cases, um, I don't understand the just justice system. I think, you know, uh, keeping someone. Uh, in jail and spending fifty thousand dollars a year, you know, to keep somebody in jail for ten years. Uh, that's a half a million dollars that could go to uh, 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 trying to, you know, save a baby. Um, and no, um, uh, uh, saving <coughs> saving someone. Um, as I said that, I also realized that um, uh, I don't believe in God, but on the other hand, I believe if uh, if you have a um, a, uh, a preemie, you know, that's um, only to midterm or something, that you should not spend a half a million dollars keeping that little baby that weighs, you know, a half a pound alive, let it, let it die. Um, but all that, all that money that we spend, um, you know, keeping, keeping people in jail, um, before we decide to finally execute them, um, doesn't make any sense. Okay. You get... Um, you know, you you go to uh, you go to court. You're convicted of a crime. You get um, the second um, appeal. You get the appeal, and if uh, uh, if that does not reverse the charges, you know, do it then. You know. Okay. A, a week, a week later, or something. You don't. Um, I think. Um, I think putting people in jail for ten years or whatever um, on death row is cruel and unusual punishment. Okay. Let me, let me shift gears just and, a little bit. And it's a, uh, uh, it's, um, it's a drain on the financial. Um, System. Yeah. Let me shift gears just a little bit. Susan, is there any reason, um, as they search your property, whether they find any other body parts from other people or anything like that? Can you think of any? No. Is there no possibility of that? 
No. I, I can't think of any reason why any... Uh, I have a, a number of animals out there. No, I'm talking humans. Yes, I know. Um, I have a num no, number of animals out there, but... Um, okay. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I want you to I want you to play the role of a dishonest person for a second. If you had actually done something different to Robert that caused his death, um, what would keep you from telling me that right now? Um, don't want to go to jail. Okay. Fair enough. Looks like I'm gonna might be spending the night here. Well, what do you think the results of a polygraph exam are going to be if I ask you questions like, did you injure Robert before um, he went into the pen? No. Um, are they going to find any other, uh, do you know where any other human parts are located on your no. property? That I don't belong to Robert? No. I, I, um, when they brought up the subject of finding a leg, I thought they were bullshitting me to start with. Oh. Because <clears throat> uh, I, you know, um, Robert was there, and they found a leg over here, some, somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but they found a leg somewhere else. Okay. And my only, uh, my only uh, hypothesis is in order for something to get from point A to point B, it had to be done by a coyote. Okay. Um, I, so you didn't bury any other people out there on your no, property? And, well, no. And then, like I said, if... Um, um, uh, if if I had killed him for making a mess and just went up and shot him, okay. um, why you know it, it it makes no sense for me to pick up his partial remains, put them in a bag, and leave them where they could be easily found for two months. I could, you know, if I had, if I had done this for some um, illegitimate reason, okay. why would I not have just taken the stuff, put it in a bag, and gone up in the woods and thrown it out? I don't know. Well, that's, you know, that's why I'm saying too. Why, you know, why, if if I did this for some other reason. Than purely putting someone out of their misery and feeling very bad about it, I know. And but at the same time, I was joking about it to um, the police and other people that I know. Um, you know, I have Robert staying in this room and then ten feet away from him. Uh, I've got body parts. Why did I? Why did I not get rid of it a long time ago? I don't know. Well, that's you know, that's the part that you know doesn't make sense. If if I had done this, if I had done this, like I say, for an illegitimate reason. Um, I'm surprised you didn't do that anyway. Actually. Well, that's you know, um, that, that's why I'm saying if. Um, uh, I, I knew I knew he was there this whole time that I was talking to the cops. I knew exactly where he was, or what was left. I knew exactly where it was, and uh, my only concern was that um, if I told them, you know, that they were going to go shoot my pigs. Susan, when you bagged up his remains. And what was left? Yes. Um, did you not count arms and legs or anything like no. that? No. And what's the remains look like? Uh, was it 
a torso, like a spine? Was it um, a skull? Um, there, there was the skull. Long and, bones? Um, there was a few long bones. Um, the, the torso was pretty much gone. Okay. The, um, you know, the ribs were just little bitty things, so they just right. ate, ate them up. Um, um, the, um, I think the hips were still there, the spine, and the skull. I really can't. How about I, I, shoes I, or coats or um, belts or anything no, like that? Uh, that 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 stuff was um, was left in the pen. Okay. And I disposed of that. Okay. Where? Um, in a burn barrel. Okay, you burned up. Did you remember? Was there two shoes? Was there? Oh, there must have been two shoes. Well, I don't know. They said they found a leg somewhere, so I didn't know if the shoes still attached to it or not. Um, I. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> but no, if okay, um, yeah, if um, if this happened nearly two months ago, um, and uh, you're making me thirsty. Um, I'm sorry. We can get you a drink. Um, if do you want me to go uh, get some water in your Coke uh, uh, bottle or something? Uh, well, I like another Coke, but. Um, anyway, um, well, if they're yeah. watching, they may get you one. No. Hey, I, bring me a coat. I don't know if they are or not. Sometimes um, they wander around. Yeah. Really um, um, this is the thing that does make does not make sense to me. That, um, like I was. Uh, uh, I've killed my pigs before, I've killed sheep before, I've killed goats before, and it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I shoot them, I gut them, I eat them. Uh, when I shot Robert, um, I knew this was a human being, and I could not look at him okay. to, to so shoot So it was him. different. It was a human being. <clears throat> okay. I, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of caring for other human beings. Um, um, like I said, the um, biggest problem with this planet is there's people on it. We have, um, over the last couple hundred years got rid of uh, a number of species, you know, with that would still be here if it weren't for us. Okay. And um, I have um, I have great feeling for um, the creatures on this planet. And um, but on the other hand, I'm not in the um, uh, uh, psychological situation where I would become uh, a mass murderer and just you know go into a school and start killing people or go into oh God, uh, don't go into uh, you know a crowd and blow myself up or something <clears throat> like that. Okay. Um, my um, uh, my general feelings. Um, when I get these anxiety attacks is more homicidal than suicidal. Um, I've never acted on anything like that, but uh, like I mentioned in the grocery store, I was having this attack, so I mm -hmm. went, went out and, uh, you know, uh, uh, well, in that case, I got now, uh, a bigger anxiety attack even after I got out of the store. So it's probably 20 minutes or something before I had calmed down. Uh, but uh, 
if if I were left, if if I had to stay in the uh, in the build in in the store, and uh, there was a come on in, come on in. You got my soda. Say they are listening. Uh, thank you. Someone's listening. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, if uh, uh, if I had been forced to stay in the store and there was a machine gun around, I would have said, get away from me before I start shooting. That's, uh, that's the way I feel when I have these anxiety attacks. Uh, okay. uh, you need to be left alone. I need to be left alone, yes. I need to just be left alone. If I'm left alone, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Let me, uh, let me shift gears again, and let's talk a little bit about the polygraph stuff, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to get together a list of questions for you. Yes. That, um, we're going to agree on the answers. You're going to answer either yes or no to my questions. Right. Okay. Yes. Pretty simple. Yes. If there's any ambiguity, you don't understand what I'm asking, and it's, it's not yes or no, but it's maybe, yes. that's not a good question. Right. Okay. Because, Susan, you can lie to me or you can lie to the detectives, but you can't lie to yourself. Right. And so if you're answering the question and you know it's a lie, you're going to know it, and your physiology or yes. your body is going to react accordingly yes. because we have hardwired into us this fight or flight, this animal instinct to yes. protect ourselves. Yes. Okay. And so um, provided we get to the point where we've got all the questions all together, we're ready to go, we've talked about them, and I start to put the components on you, then we're going to start the exam. The exam really doesn't take very long. It's just a matter of asking the questions several times to go through, well, let's say as many as four times. We'll go through the list of questions, and they're spread out a little bit. Right. You know, they're about 20, 25 seconds apart because if someone has a reaction to it, I want to see the reaction, and I want to see the reaction go away before I ask the next question. Yeah. Okay. That's just the proper way to do yeah. it. Um, so these are valid uh, ways of doing it yes, that have been uh, tested. Uh, right. No, I, I understand. Okay. Um, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the words again. Okay. Um, what you got there right now? What do you call that? The graphs that I'm looking no. at, the lines, the computer. No. No. Um, if if I were if I were hooked up to that right now and I was just doing that, mm -hmm. that's the what do you call it? Like a baseline. Baseline, that's the word. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, my my baseline. Um, um, I'm. I, I think that my baseline is pretty much flat. Okay. I um, <clears throat> I don't. Um, um, the officer the other day was saying, well, we found the leg and you didn't react. Okay. So, okay. so I, I, I do not react. Okay. And, and I won't know how you react physiologically? Yes, I do. I, to, so to, to, the, to the best of my knowledge, I don't react to um, uh, external stimuli okay. um, very much. And that could be very well the case. Yeah. You know, and polygraph isn't a good tool for everybody, but there's absolutely no way for me to know oh, I, I, no, I until we that. get to that point. Yeah, no, I realize that. But now, um, um, I've turned my screen a little bit just so that you can kind of see um, okay. what's going on here, and that is that um, this is what I'm looking at. You're kind of a pragmatic person. You think logically, so this will probably make sense to you. No, it does. These two lines up here are blue. They have to do with your breathing patterns. I just turn them blue. I can, I can make them whatever color I want, but yeah. blue sounds like air to me, so I pick blue. Okay. So this tube's going to go around your uh, lower chest, and this one's going to go around your upper chest. Okay. And you can see I've bumped both of those, and you see that there's an yes. immediate response. To that. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to be watching your breathing cycles. Yeah. Now, I've been watching your breathing a little bit. It's pretty normal. There's a few sighs in there. There's a few deep breaths. So yeah. hopefully during the test, you can be nice, even breathing, and we'll yeah. see. 
Breathing, uh, Susan, is something that people can control, though. So we give some some credibility to that, but yeah. we watch it very closely because people can kind of mess with this whole process right. by messing with their breathing. So hopefully you won't be doing that. Now I need to tell these. Uh, I need to tell the computer that I've gone to a different. Uh, let me do this really first. Cardio. I'm going to use this finger cuff over here. Now this little finger cuff right here is going to go on your thumb, and it's very, very sensitive, but when I put the pressure on it and squeeze your thumb a little bit, let me lower the sensitivity here, basically every time your heart beats, that's going to go off. You see that's a red line? Yeah. Okay. Obviously I made it red, and that has to do blood. with your blood, and that makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay? So you understand that. Yeah. If that doesn't work very good, I've got another way to do it. I'll put an arm cuff on you, but that's a little bit more restrictive, so I'll just go with the thumb right now. Yeah. The other thing, you mentioned even your skin resistance or your electrodermal response. That's this green line. I don't know why I picked green, but I just picked green. I just liked it. Um, other than that's my favorite color. But. Well, yeah, um, I like pink, I think, is my favorite yeah, color. Your hat's got some pink um, so I put this, these, I'm just showing you as a would, demonstration. I would say, um, hmm. uh, well, no, you could have a white line because um, it's a white screen. Uh, I could make a white line if I change the background to black because some people do that, but I don't like that. So. Uh, well, I'm. <laughs> it's really not. Uh, I, 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 uh, my stupid analytical mind. I'm thinking that white would be better for um, a voltage response on a black, black background, I guess. Okay. <laughs> that you would have to change it for any reason. I'm not going to change it for you. I, I, I'm going to leave it. Okay. What um, I want you to do is I want you to look at this green line. Now, that's hooked to my fingers, and it's measuring my skin resistance. Mm -hmm. The line will never be completely flat on mm -hmm. anybody if it's working properly. Yeah. But you it doesn't just, move you just, much. You just lied. Did it go up a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So you see a response, right? Yes. Because um, that's probably because I'm thinking about what I'm going to say next, and my mind is kind of spinning a little bit about what's next. Yes. Hopefully it's not a very big bump, but it's probably something. It, it was a pretty big bump. Okay, I'll it's, look at it in a minute. It's, so, gone, it's gone way down. The reason yeah. I don't look at it is because all I have to do is look at that, and it goes up because I'm very reactive yeah. on this channel. Well, but if I hurt myself, yeah. cause myself a little bit of pain, what did it do? Uh, it dropped a little. Yep. Okay. So then it turns a corner and it comes back down, yes. right? Okay. Well, let me look at it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty big. And I'm really sensitive. Yeah. So this is a very good reaction of what sometimes it looks like when people lie. Mm -hmm. Because my mind, when I slap my cheek, recognized that I'm in a little bit of trouble. And so it responded. Okay? Yeah. I didn't start to sweat more, but those sweat glands in there react to that sympathetic nervous system, and off yeah. they go. What was this? Was this the one where I... Huh? This bump, was that the one you were talking about? I think I could... No, this, this, yeah, that one. This I mean, one right here? I couldn't, I couldn't see the... I, okay. Uh, I couldn't see the little arrow thing. Okay. I, I, I don't have my glasses, right. so I can barely see that. So I can adjust the sensitivity and make those bumps look big or make them look small. But it changes them all across the board. I don't change any individual yeah. one. I can't even do that if I wanted. Yeah. So that's what we look at. So anyway, Susan, I'm going to be looking at what your breathing's doing, what your electrodermal response is doing, what your cardio's doing, and you'll be sitting on this pad, and that's just a movement sensor. This black line just helps me know oh. if someone's sitting still enough to do a good test. If they're, yeah, exactly. If you're doing that, we're all, we're not going to do it. Okay. Okay. So, do you have any uh, questions about that? Uh, no. Okay. I, I never heard of the sitting on thing before. Yeah, that's kind of a new, uh, well, it's not really new, but it's a movement sensor. Some people come into polygraphs and they try and beat it, and they try and mess around, and they wiggle around, and they flex their muscles, and they don't cooperate. Yeah. We also used to have to rely on just watching them to see if they were doing that. But with that pad... Yeah. Since you all, most of your weight's on that pad, just about anything you do, movement-wise, shows up on that. Okay. So we just watch that. Just to, Mostly I just make sure that someone's cooperating. So you have any I'm questions gonna, about that? I'm going to try to cooperate. Well, I hope you will. So far you have. 
So let's figure out what kind of questions we're going to ask you, okay? What do you think I should ask you? Um, <clears throat> um, did I shoot Robert for any other reason than previously stated? Okay. Um, <laughs> That's a pretty important one. I've got kind of that one in mind. It's a little bit different because, <clears throat> because only because of the possibility that that's exactly true and you shot him because he was in, in distress and likely dying anyway. That right. could certainly be true. Yeah. And yet you could have had, could have, I'm not saying you did, I don't know. You could have had something to do with him ending up in that situation in the first place yeah. that we would want to know about. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to ask you is, uh, um, did you injure Roger in any way before um, uh, the pigs began to feed no. on him? No. Um, I'm sorry, I said Ro Roger, didn't I? Robert. It's Robert, right? Yes, Robert. And regarding um, regarding how Robert ended up dying, is are you withholding any information from the detectives that you know that they would want to know? In other words, are you withholding information about how that happened to him that you're just not telling them? Is there things that you're just not saying? Um, are you keeping any secrets about it? No. Those aren't the exact questions. I'll get them ready in just a few minutes, but I'm just kind of rough draft of them. Okay. Do you know of the Do you know of uh, body parts of any other people that might be found on your property? No. Then you would know if there was, right? No. Okay. Why not? Um. If there was, you would likely know how they ended up there. Yeah. There was. But you don't know um, if there's any other body parts located? No. Okay. Um, I've got 20 acres, so if somebody buried somebody out there, I would not know about it. Okay. But um, you don't know of any place where there's actually other body parts, right? No. Okay. myself a note earlier. Have you, and you're not involved with the death of any other person on your property? No. Does those sound like fair questions to be asking someone in your situation? Uh, yes. Okay. And are you the type of person that would injure someone for no good reason? I mean, do you ever get angry at people that's uh, not um, realistic? Um, I had uh, um, uh, Brady's, uh, Brady's daughter, uh, Mandy, Okay. And her boyfriend, um, um, can't think of his name, uh, John, her, her boyfriend, um, she had a boyfriend, John, um, they were out on my property one day, I had gotten them to leave, and they came back, and I said, you know, get out of here. I don't want to see you people out on my property, and yeah. to, to this date, I do not want to see her out on my property. But that's a legitimate reason you told them to leave, right? Yeah. Um, or do you get angry at people for without a legitimate reason? No, no, okay. I don't get. No, You're not that kind of person, right? No, I don't get. No, I don't get angry for uh, unless it's uh, a reason. But um, I did go ahead and I grabbed my my, my rifle. And uh, they were sitting up on a little knoll, and I got within 
Gosh. Uh, 30 feet of them. And I fired my rifle into the ground. And I said, leave now. Okay. Um, and who was that? That was Brady's um, daughter and her boyfriend, John. Who's Brady? Uh, Brady is the guy that I've been trying to take care of. Uh, he's um, he's 60 years old. He's been in several ca car accidents. He's got a really bad hip. Uh, it's been operated on once. He needs to get it operated on a second time. He um, has some kind of disease that they don't, because of the disease, they don't want to operate because for some reason, if they operate, the disease might spread. Yeah. I can't really figure that out. Mm -hmm. But uh, his daughter, Mandy, which I just mentioned, constantly abuses him. Uh, at the beginning of the month, she's there, you know, all loving and uh, wanting to get money from her father. Yeah. And... Uh, she has taken his um, pills and sold them um, so that... Um, so you had a legitimate so reason to want them off your property. Yes, but this was this was years ago. Okay. Um, John, John is um, slightly smarter than a cat, but I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't count on it. One day when this was several years ago... Uh, uh, I was doing some uh, welding, building this uh, uh, little building, mm -hmm. and uh, he saw a cardboard box with some circuit breakers in it. And uh, he said, you know, point, he pointed at the circuit breakers in the cardboard box and said, what are those? And I said, they're circuit breakers. And um, I had a electrical box which I had hooked up and was getting electricity out of to run my welder. And he went ahead and said, oh yeah, I know what they are. And he stuck his hand into the electrical box, which was open, and touched the bus bar <laughs> and shocked the hell out of him. And the only reason it did not kill him was the floor was dry. So this is... You know, this is the men mentality of some of the people that I have had out there helping me. Okay. Uh, you know, well, um, Susan, the reason I'm asking these other questions is there's other questions on the test. Yes. About you as a person, are you even the kind of person that would do something like um, this without a legitimate reason? Do you get angry? Uh, have you... Um, it, Threatened to kill anybody for no reason? Have you ever the, are you even that kind of a person? The, the only person I have I have not um, uh, um, the only person that I have not confronted and said that I wish they were dead is my neighbor, okay. uh, Karen. I very much, you know, would like to go over and shoot her and feed her to my pigs. Uh, the reason I don't is obvious. Uh, she has um, she has shot at other people on my property, and I have called the police, and they said, "Well, unless there's blood, we can't do anything." It's just he said, she said. Sure. Uh, she has called uh, dozens of times complaining about my property. A couple of years ago, she had her property on the, um, the for, for, uh, for sale. And I actually had three people see me cleaning up my property, stop, and ask me if my property was the one for sale. She has taken um, firewood and piled it up alongside of the, the road, making a big fire hazard. And the county will not do anything about it. To me, like I say, it's a, it's a big fire hazard. And if, if that were to catch on fire, the fire truck could not get down the property. Okay. 
So there's, there, there's a, a big double standard here. I don't know where it goes. When when I first got up here, uh, I went ahead and I was clearing the brush, and I was burning it to get rid of it. And she would constantly call uh, the, the fire department and the forestry department and the police department, and um, they would come out and uh, see what I was doing. And Jackson County has an ordinance. Um, I can't remember what it was. That was over 15 years ago. But they have some ordinance that's um, 16-402B or whatever that says you can have a fire any time of the year, even during burn season. If you are not burning leaves, and if that fire is for um, a campfire, so uh, I found out about that, and I went ahead and um, I'd have a, a baked potato or a hot dog or something, and um, they would come out and say, "Hi, Susan, how are you doing?" I said, "You know, I'm doing okay." And, uh, your place is looking a lot better all the time. And uh, uh, here, here's a situation where um, the person that's calling you is being in more trouble than me because I'm uh, I'm I'm being safe. I'm you know I have just a small fire, but I'm getting rid of brush and stuff on my property and. Uh, my property looks almost like the park. Uh, I've gotten rid of almost all the brush. I've gone around and trimmed the trees so they're not the, the branches aren't down on the ground. And it, um, you rake up the leaves and grass starts growing once the leaves are gone. So my place is really looking nice. And their place looks atrocious to me. And um, every time something happens, they call you, and uh, um, it hasn't happened in a while, but, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous. Okay. I can't, I can't get, I can't get anybody to clean up their mess, but if I have a tin can on the, my property, they say I have to clean up that tin can, and they have this big mess over here, which is a big fire hazard to my feeling. And they won't do anything about it. The reason I lost my hair was a couple years ago, I did have a bunch of stuff on my property. And I got called by the county, and the county was going to fine me $600 for having uh, material, you know, that was not um, wood products uh, on my property. I do welding. Um, I do scrap metal. I, you know, I get something, I cut it up and try to make a little bit of money on it. I do ornamental iron work. Uh, most people say they like my work very much. Uh, I only do custom work. If you want something, if, if, you, if you see one of my uh, gates, um, I will build you one similar to that. I will not build. Uh, I will not build anything identical to what I built for somebody else, unless it's for them to go somewhere else on their property. Okay. So I, I only do custom work. Okay, Susan, let me let me um, get back to what okay. we were talking about. Okay. <laughs> um, um, there's other questions on this test that have to do with you as a person. I want to make sure that you're not the kind of person that would harm someone like Robert. Um, for no legitimate reason. So I'm going to ask you if you ever harmed anybody else for, without a legitimate reason. Um, if you ever wish, other than Karen, because you told me right up, honestly, you know, you just soon see her dead. Um, other yeah. than Karen, uh, do you ever wish other people to die without a reason? No. no. Um, and are you a liar? Do you ever lie to the police or people in authority? Do you ever, are you a liar? Um, I need to know that. Yes. What do you lie about? Well, I mean, I've lied about this, and until... 
Okay. Things came Not out. including this investigation. I mean, are you a liar in general? No. You lie to other people to get what you want, stuff like Generally, that. Generally, no. Um, Not including this investigation. Yeah, no, generally. I want to know about your history. Yeah, no, generally I'm very honest. Um, so those questions are important too because they help me gauge, they help me with your baseline. They help me figure out what kind of person you really are. Yeah. Are you a person that wouldn't do this or are you a person that would do something like this? Um, so those questions are important, okay? Yeah. No, I, um, All right. I, I don't... Um, I don't believe that um, I would kill anybody for, um, for out, uh, with, uh, I don't believe I would kill anybody with, without um, a legitimate reason. Okay. So <clears throat> I have a little bit of work to do to get some questions ready, okay? We're almost ready to do the test, actually. As soon as I get my questions ready and we go over them with each other. Do you need a break or anything like this? Do you need to use a restroom or anything? No, I'm okay. Okay. So if you'll just, um, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to kind of stay over here and concentrate for a little bit. Okay. Start to eat my, yeah, that'd be good. Start to eat my half day old sandwich. Starting to get a little bit hungry. Okay. fastest type in the world, but I'll get it done here. <coughs> I can type, but I can't. You can, I can type, but you can't read what I've typed. Why is that? Because my spelling is atrocious. Oh, no, just spelling. Okay. <coughs> Everybody says the English language is hard to learn, and I agree with them. French have E's, no, French have T's at the end of a lot of words, which doesn't make any sense. And we have PH that sounds like F, and cat should start with a K, not a C. City should start with a C, or possibly an S, but it should not start. Uh, Cat should definitely start with a K. I don't understand our language system. To the best of my knowledge, it was Benjamin Franklin that said we should only have 23 letters instead of 26. I think I heard that before, too. He also wanted the turkey to be the um, national bird, or whatever you call it, instead of all the yep, the wild turkey. Uh, this guy is caught uh, cooking a um, spotted owl. Mm -hmm. And he's asked um, about it, and he uh, says, I was hungry, and I'm having my meal. And uh, the uh, person asks him, um, what's it taste like? And he, so he's eating the spotted owl, which is endangered, mm -hmm. and he says, it tastes pretty much like bald eagle, <laughs> which was, um, you know, I mean, it's a joke, but... <laughs> I got it. Yeah. And getting on, on, on that... 
um, on the inquiry into that joke, you would ask, why is the bald eagle endangered? Mm -hmm. And it's because we went ahead and had all these pesticides out and killed them all. So that's another reason why I'm not a, not in favor of the human race, as, even though I am among the human race. A member, a member of the human race. It's cold now, but thank you for the sandwich. <laughs> it's a little cool. It's probably because you took your sweatshirt off, but you needed to take that off for the test anyway. So. Uh, yeah, that's why I took it off, so you could put the doohickeys on. Now, when he first brought me the sandwich, he said it was hot. Right now. Yes. That was three hours ago or something. It is now at ambient temperature. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten this, or will this affect no. Do you need anything else before we start? You can finish your sandwich. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to step out for a second, okay? okay? And when I come back, we'll go over these questions. I'll probably move the chair a little bit so you can put your arm up on the table. I'm going to attach the components to you, and then we'll go ahead and go through the test several times, okay? okay. And the reason we do that is because... I'm looking for patterns. Any one reaction, I don't count for or against anybody. Right. I've got to look for a pattern. If there's no pattern, then I can't make a decision. Okay. Yeah. But is there anything else you think I should know before we get started that you just haven't told me? 
just because we haven't asked the question right or something. I'm mostly concerned about Robert's death, but anything else that they may or may not find on your property you haven't told me about. You think about that during a break, and I'll come up with it. I can't, I can't, uh, because, I can't really. because it would be really important if there's anything, see, if you were hiding anything on purpose, then you're likely to not do good on the test. Yeah. And we, you know, we want you to do good if you're telling the truth. Okay. Right. But things get stuck up in here if, if people are uh, hiding anything or lying about anything, even small things. It's important to get that out before um, the test, because that's well, the only I, thing that helps. Yeah. You no, uh, until you actually ask me the question, uh, I can't. Uh, uh, yeah, until until you actually ask me a question, mm -hmm. I cannot think of anything um, that would that would cause me to be okay. worried. Okay. That right. Yeah, I just make sure there's nothing else that you know. You know, Susan, it's kind of like this, you know, um, when I raise my kids, sometimes if I ask them a question, they answered, no, I didn't do that, Dad, I didn't do that. Yeah. They know they did something wrong, and they're not going to admit it unless I ask the question just right. Yes. I don't want you to be in that situation. Well, if you already know that there's something you should have already told us, this is the time to say it before yeah, I, the test. I, um, I can't think of. Um, I can't think of anything else that I haven't said. Okay. If, and I'm talking about things that you're purposefully leaving out, so you would know what they yeah. were already, because you've been talking to you for quite a while. Today. Yes. So you would have had, if there is anything, you would have had to have been hiding that all day long. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you think about that. If there's nothing, fine. If not, I'll be back in probably five minutes, okay? Okay. Um, you don't need to use the restroom or anything? No, at this moment I'm fine. Okay. Um, uh, I'm sure there's something, but I can say until you actually ask me a question, I can't think what it might be. Okay. Well, you, if something comes to your mind, we'll just talk about it when I get yeah. back, okay? Okay. Okay, just give me a sec.
Um. Whatever. Susan, just stand up for a second, and I'll move that chair just a little bit. I want your arm up here like this, okay? Okay. What's that right there? Is that is that something on the chair? Or? No, that's something on me, which I hadn't done in 60 plus years. Okay. And that was totally. I think the camera's in that thing there. Totally your fault. What are you talking about? Uh, I needed to go to the bathroom. They wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. Well, do you need to go now? No, I mean, this was when they, at uh, 8, okay. 8, o'clock this, 8 o'clock this morning. Oh, uh, okay. Okay? Uh, uh, normally, I get up and I go to the bathroom. And... They were... There's so they, I'm just going to put this down here like this before I put my pad on there, okay? Well, that's not really going to do any good because no, it's not right. pants. No, it doesn't matter. I'll wash the cover later. Okay. No. Yeah, they, yeah. okay. Go ahead and have a seat, Susan, on that. I want to make sure your arm fits up on this table. I tried, to, I tried to clean my pants off a little bit. Okay. That's not like too that. bad right there. I tried to clean my pants off as best as I could. But, uh... Okay. So... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over these questions with you here. I'm going to go ahead and review them just real quickly myself. I want to make sure I worded a couple of things properly.
several years ago, I got woken up at 2 o'clock in the morning by the police because Brady's son had his girlfriend out there and she called the police on him and then at 2 o'clock in the morning I got woken up by the police and they said the dispatcher said come outside so I had to get dressed I came outside and 60 70 feet away there was a cop standing there with a rifle pointed at me and I was about ready to say where's the you know property slip I'll sign it over to you right now well, I didn't want to get shot by a semi-automatic or actual auto, auto, automatic weapon there okay so Susan you know that you need to answer these questions yes or no right yes so I'm going to read them to you and then if you don't understand the question, then we need to talk about it. Okay. okay. If you understand it and it's clear and you can hear me okay, just answer yes or no. Okay? Yes. Not including this investigation, have you ever lied to police or any other authority? Are you the type of person that lies to people in authority? No. No. Okay. No. So do you intend to answer all questions about Robert's death with the truth? Yes. Did you injure Robert before the pigs began to eat him? No. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about before. Yes, okay. yes, no. Do you know of any place on your property where there are body parts from any other person? No. Okay. Not including Robert, have your pigs eaten on any other person that you know of? No. Does that make sense? Yes. Are you withholding any information concerning how Robert was actually first injured? No. Okay. So you don't know how he got injured first? No. Okay. You just know what you saw later? Yes. And that's true, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you ever get angry at other people without good reason? That's the justification thing. Because you say you get angry, but you're always justified. There's always a reason. I, there, yes, there's always a reason. Uh, a justifiable reason? Well, not for doing something heinous. Okay. Uh, I'm constantly, I constantly get mad at Brady because he doesn't have any money, and instead of okay, in, 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 instead of um, doing the logical thing and going to buy two beers, he takes the car and goes buys one beer. And then he comes back two hours later and buys another beer. So uh, with some uh, with someone that doesn't have money, it doesn't make any sense. And I try to be very logical. Yesterday we went into Grant's Pass. He wanted to pick up a television set. He refused to put the television set in my car. When we got back, he was going to drive his car in the Grants Pass to pick up the TV, which is, you know, it totally didn't make any sense. So I got mad at him, and he gets, you know, I get mad at him to a small extent, and then he gets mad at me because, you know, he's being a three-year-old. Do you ever get violent towards other people? No. Let me ask you that question. <clears throat> Instead of what we just talked about, do you ever get violent towards other people without justification? No. Other than Karen, do you ever wish other people would die? No. Okay. I understand, Karen. I appreciate you telling me about her. You got a long yeah. history there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's a few questions on this test that have to do with uh, you're going to answer truthfully, and I'm going to know it. Like, is your first name Susan? No. Answer truthfully, no. Yes. Okay. Are you currently sitting down? No. Yes. See, if you're going to mess with my test, we okay. wasted a couple oh, hours. Okay, okay. okay, yes. Okay. I am sitting I am sitting down. So are the lights on in this room right now? Yes. Okay. And see, I know that that's true, and so when you answer truthfully, I get to see what it looks like. Yes. And Susan yes. answers truthfully, so I need you to answer truthfully. Yes. Every question on this test has its place. Yes. Okay. And if we do a good, clean test with good, clean questions and no ambiguity in them, 
and you cooperate and we get through it, we should have some sort of polygraph opinion. Okay. Because like I said before, people can lie to me, but they can't lie to themselves. Yes. So when I ask you a question, if you know it's true and you answer it truthfully, there's no concern. There's no real reason to respond. Right. If I ask you a question and you answer it and you know it's not the complete truth when you answer, only you know, but that's enough to make your mind say, okay, I'm lying about that. Well, I, you know, it, it, um, I am not going to say, and I don't know how long it would take you to find out, but Susan Monica is not my name of birth. Oh. I will say that, but I. Oh, okay. Well, that's no problem. I I will say that it has been that for the last forty years. Oh, well, that's easy one. Let me let me. That's important. Let me let me uh, change that. That's that's easy. Okay. Well, what is your real name? I'm not saying. Oh, okay. Do people call you Susan? Yes. Okay. But I know that's true. Yes. Okay, do all those questions sound pretty clear and you understand what I'm asking when I ask yes. them? Okay. Then all we have to do is we put the components on. You'll hear me over here clicking with the mouse. I'll be making some adjustments. If I give you any instructions during the test, I just want you to do like I ask and not talk about it. Don't tell jokes during this. Don't okay. change your answer because okay. it's funny. Just yes, take just yes, a yes or no, okay? Does that I'd sound? Like to, yeah, I, like I say, I do have. You want me to do a good job for you, though, I'd right? Yes. Okay. Well, then I need I need I'm, your cooperation I'm, on that. I'm, I'm not too sure. My uh, chances of going home tonight, but I'm. I don't know about that either. I That's hope, really not yeah, my I, part. Uh, and I hope my pigs are being fed. <coughs> And I also hope that Brady is okay, because when I saw him last, he was getting put in a car. Okay. So, you can just look somewhere on that wall. You can pick a spot, but I don't want you looking over here during the test, only because it's distracting for everybody. And I want you to be able to uh, just co concentrate on my questions, okay? Yes. yes. So the first thing we're going to do, Susan, I apologize, I've got to reach around you a little bit. Is someone, oh, I got the wrong one. Wrong one. One goes on the bottom, and it's better to put that on first. Okay. So all you need to do is kind of put your hands together like this. I'm going to reach around, okay, lean back a little bit. This is just going to go right here around your diaphragm area, okay? Okay. This one's going to go up higher, up high on your chest. Okay. Lift your arms just a little bit higher. Okay, go ahead and put your arms down. You might feel those relax just a oh, little bit. Oh, no, I want more you sit. I'm, I'm already sitting on the other thing. Well, on one other thing. The, the pad, yeah. yeah. Okay, lift up your arm for me real quick. Okay, I'm going to put these, I want to put everything over here on this hand probably. So go ahead and just rub your hands on the side of your pants there. Get them nice and dry and cleaned up. Okay, give me your thumb here for a second. Where is that mark? If this does not work, I will get the old-fashioned way, but this works pretty good. Okay. Even though I had my thumb half cut off? You did? This thumb? Yeah. We'll see. Oops. The problem was it had air in it. Was it well, as long as you got circulation in there? Yes, yes. No, this happened 50 years ago. If you got circulation in there, it's probably yes, okay. No. What is that doing? Oh, I know. I got it inside out. Just, just hold your hands still. I can have it inside out. That's what the problem was. We'll see what we get there. In fact, let me look at it right now.
Actually, if you hold really still, it's not too bad. I would probably like to move the chair back. Okay, why don't you bit. do that? Why don't you do that right now? Let me take this off here for a second. No, that's okay. Yeah. No, because I'm going to try the other way first. It squeezes your arm a little bit, but that wasn't as clear as I'd like it, okay? I wasn't real comfortable with my hand. Well, your hands need to kind of hang off the edge a little bit, oh. okay? Yeah. I wasn't comfortable with my hand hanging over the hand. Okay. This one's going to go up on your arm. Yes. This is a regular pressure cuff. It's going to squeeze your arm pretty good during the test, okay? Oops. But between tests, I'll take the pressure off, all right? Okay, Susan, can you stick your arm straight out like that and just kind of roll your palm up? Just like that. Okay. to fall down here because it needs to go over there like that. There we go. Okay, now put your arm down. Does that feel pretty comfortable? Yes. Will you be able to let your uh, fingers hang off the edge here a little bit? So my, put my, my fingers is okay. I was uncomfortable with my wrist. Okay. Well, I've got some little foam pads I can stick under there too if that helps. So, Can you roll your hand upside down for me? Pull them up. Perfect. Okay, Susan, just roll your palm over. You can put this however you like. If that helps, that'd be great. It's kind of got a little arch in it so you can move it around. Once we get started, well, I want you to keep still, okay? How does that feel there? Uh, okay. Okay, good. Okay, let me just kind of center some stuff up here. <coughs> So far, it looks pretty good as long as you breathe normally and don't take too many deep breaths. And nothing like that. <coughs> and cough. Cough. <coughs> Now's a good time to get that done. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay, Susan, I'm going to put some pressure on your arm here. Can you feel that? I'm going to squeeze okay. it a couple times. I'm going to let as much off as I can, okay, just to get. Get a good reading. I need to see where I'm at, though. Okay, that's not too bad there. <coughs> Trying to relax as much as possible. Okay, that's good. Pressure off your arm for a second. I know I can get good pressure there. I want to do something with this a little bit. Just go ahead and just kind of lift these fingers up. Turn over. Um, I'm going to have you turn them over. Yeah, that's great right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move them up just a little bit further up on your finger, okay? Just get a little bit better uh, surface area. I wasn't getting a ton of ton of information there, so sometimes this is all we need to do. Put those warm up for a second. Go ahead and roll your hands over. Same sort of a thing. <clears throat> well, that appears to have been the right thing to do. Because, uh, good, 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 good. Okay. As I get everything set, we'll start with the questions, okay? Remember to answer yes or no. Yes. Don't nod your head yes or shake your head no. Yes. Just sit still. You can close your eyes if you want to. I see you on the closet. Yeah, yeah. That's actually not a bad idea. I, I, I'm trying, like I said, to okay. relax as much as possible. 
Okay, now is about the time I need you to stop moving. Okay. Don't wiggle anything. Everything's got to kind of calm down before we start. As soon as I see that, we'll start. Okay, Susan, this test is about to begin. Please sit still. Fine. Try not to talk. Just answer my questions, yes or no. Yes. Do people call you Susan? Yes. Do you intend to answer all questions about Robert's death with the truth? Yes. Not including this investigation? Have you ever lied to police or any other authority? No. This is hard. You can't talk. It's hard to sit still. Did you injure Robert before the pigs began to eat him? No. Do you know of any place on your property where there are body parts from any other person? Do you ever get violent towards other people without justification? No. Not including Robert? Have your pigs eaten on any other person that you know of? No. Are you withholding any information concerning how Robert was actually first injured? No. This is complete. Please sit still until I tell you to. Okay, go ahead and relax, Susan. I didn't think I'd be this nervous when I was doing this. <clears throat> well, 
know there's three separate times there where you've taken huge breaths, moved, and just... Yes, I know. Are I, you going to be able to cooperate? Or? I, I, I thought I was. I, at this point, I'm not sure. Okay. Is there something going through your mind during the test that's causing you to not be able to, to be calm? Uh, just the... Just the situation itself. Okay. All these questions we've gone over before. They yes. shouldn't be. I, I, I realize that, but try, try, trying to sit here and be still and just saying yes and no is more trouble than I thought it would be. Okay. I want to make an adjustment before we continue again on these fingers here. Okay. Um, are you the right or left handed? Uh, mostly right. Okay. Yeah, every once in a while, Susan, I find someone that I need to use a little bit of. It. This is the same sort of stuff they use in the hospital when they need to get good electrical contact. Yep. Okay. So I'll do it. There you go. Pull those off there. I'll do it first. So here's what I'm going to do. Put some, put some gooey stuff on there. Well, it's not even really gooey. It's a little yeah. bit of lotion. just kind of lubricates yeah. a little bit. I kind of like where they were at, and it doesn't take much. Yeah. Just to make sure it's getting some good contact. Yes. This bottle's about 50 years old. It still works pretty good. No, I, um, I realize the concept. Okay. Now, that should help. Moisten that up a little bit. And then just to make sure that I'm getting a really good contact, I'm not going to rely on the Velcro. Okay, I'm going to go with some medical tape. Because it doesn't stick to people's skin too bad. <coughs> okay, let's start with this one right here. Gonna get good contact. I can't think of a better way to do it than what we got going right now. Okay. Now no, just go ahead. This, this finger does not feel like it's tight. Okay, it's making contact, okay. so we should be fine. If, okay. if we're gonna get anything, go ahead and roll your hand over okay. and just let those hang. Okay. If we're gonna get anything, we're gonna get it. The, the bigger problem is, are you gonna be able to sit still? Um, I thought I was, and. No, I'm not sure. Okay. We're going to try uh, at least one more time here, okay? Okay. Because that first chart was pretty much useless yes, because of all um, the interference. No, I, I, I understand. Um, I didn't think I would have this problem. Well, you're not the first person I've had trouble with on the first time through, and there's no problems with doing it several times. <clears throat> you just got to sit still for about four and a half minutes is all. Let's see if you can do that for me, okay? So when I tell you to please sit still, that's when I need you to sit still from that yes. point forward. Yes. This test is about to begin. Please sit still. Are the lights on in this room right now? Yes.
Do you intend to answer all questions about Robert's death with the truth? Yes. including this investigation? Have you ever lied to police or any other authority? No. Did you injure Robert before the pigs began to eat him? No. Do you know of any place on your property where there are body parts from any other person? No. Are you withholding any information concerning how Robert was actually first injured? Susan, for whatever reason, apparently you can't complete a complete chart without moving. I, and so I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that. The I'm, little data that I'm getting, uh, we can talk about, but uh, I don't know that we should continue. I, I thought I could sit here. Okay. So what happened? You weren't coughing the whole time we were talking. Oh, well, I was trying to, I was trying to relax, and <clears throat> it was wasn't working. Okay. Well, for the time being, let's take this stuff off here, and then uh, we'll regroup a little bit, maybe. Let's see, where's that? There it is. having these troubles just because you didn't want to take the test, right? Uh, no. No, I was trying to cooperate. Okay, lift up your arms uh, really quick. Let me just reach right here. There's one. And, uh, There's two. Okay, go ahead and stand up and we'll get that pad out. What's that? Go ahead and stand up. Nah. We'll just leave that. Okay, go ahead and move that around a little bit. <coughs> Let me look at what we got here. <coughs> yeah, I, no, we're not going to be able to do an actual polygraph running charts today, okay? We'll talk about it, but first let me put some of this stuff away, okay? You need a break or anything? No. 
Yeah. I'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. Um, I bag this stuff up all the time. Yes. Um, there it is. So for my little black bag here. I don't. I, I, I don't understand why, but I just feel anxious. I guess. Well, that's perfectly normal to feel anxious when you're in a police office and you're being questioned about the death of somebody. Yes. Okay? There's nothing unusual about that. In my 26 years as a detective, I've been in these rooms with people a lot that have been involved in things. I'm used to the anxiety that comes with that, so I understand it. I must have a few very fat people. There's been a few people that, that this was just almost not long enough to reach around. They even sell extensions. <laughs> believe it or not, um, I've never needed to quit. I, I guess I'll believe you. They do. Um, uh, I guess I'm, uh, I'm always thinking of other things here. What are you thinking about right now? Uh, right now I'm thinking about... Um, a person having to be taken out of their uh, room through a window with a forklift because they were too big to walk out of the door. Seen it on TV and stuff? Yes. Me too. In fact, I, when I was a young trooper, I helped a bunch of firefighters and stuff get a guy through the side of his house because couldn't, they couldn't get him out the door. Yeah. And that was that was what I started thinking about yeah. when you said they made extensions. Yeah, well, no need for that today. Now, I have been trying for quite some time to lose weight. Well, all the work you do on your place, you must be in pretty good health otherwise, right? I'm in very good health, but I am considerably overweight. I got no room to talk either. It's only because I'm tall that I can hide some of it. Um, technically, if I was six inches taller, I wouldn't be overweight. <laughs> I'm just short. My doctor weighs about 100 pounds. He calls me obese, and I said, hey, coming from a little bitty guy like you, uh, take what you want. Yeah. Um, I consider myself to be um, um, I consider myself to be fairly healthy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I take a bunch of vitamins and mineral things. Uh, I I try to do uh, a bunch of push-ups, um, uh, sit-ups. I try to do a bunch of sit-ups first thing in the morning to get rid of this little gut thing that I have. I went ahead and bought a treadmill a couple months ago. And I used it regularly for the first few days, and then um, 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 I had the people come over here to my place, and I was trying to be nice, and we set up a table in my room upstairs so that everybody could come up and have a nice meal. And then I put a bunch of stuff on my treadmill because I didn't have any place else to put it, and so I haven't been using my treadmill. <clears throat> Susan, in uh, talking to you for the last couple of hours, I appreciate you talking to me. Uh, like I said, I've interviewed, I don't know, thousands of people, mm -hmm. some of them involved in things, deaths of people and other things. Yes. And I can't help but just my, the fact that I talk to people so much, I start to see things that don't add up sometimes. Try and do the polygraph. I like to have a polygraph opinion. But I don't have that with you. I, I realize that. And, um, I just, um, it's, 
But here's it, 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 I guess it's harder to just sit still. So here, here's what I do have, okay. There's a little bit of data that I was looking at on there. Not yes. a lot. Not yes. enough for me to make an opinion. But enough to make me concerned uh, about a couple of things, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most of the time people have those kinds of reactions during the test, almost exactly like you, is because they're withholding information at some point. Okay. okay. Um, for whatever reason, uh, they're scared of the consequences, they don't know where to begin, uh, they feel like they've done something wrong or they've been um, lying to the police all along and they don't know how to get past that. Well. I just want to tell you that I feel wow. for your situation, but I don't. Oh. I also don't believe you've told everything to the detectives today. Um, I think you know some more. I, That's my opinion. Yeah. No. I. Um, um, and here's what I think. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I think it's quite possible. I mean, I don't like to just come up with stuff off the top of my head, so I listen very carefully yes. when people tell me stuff like you did for about an hour and a half before. Yes. I know you have anxiety. Yes. I know you deal with that. And I think you even said at times that your anxiety, when it comes apart, it's just something that people can't control. And yes. You're not on medication for it. Right. That's, that, like I said, that is part of the reason I can't set still, I guess, too. But you because said, I have been here for you that. You said you were that. homicidal and not suicidal during that. Yes. And you said you don't, don't believe it's right for anybody to be killed without a reason. Right. Okay, so those two things I know. Thirdly, um, you you do value human life over the lives of animals. Yes. But there's a little bit of a gray area there too, I think, because you talk, you talk openly about if billions of people died, it wouldn't be a big deal because it's what's wrong with the earth anyway. So that your, your opinion of human life is different than mine, and I'll give you that. Yes. I think you understand. Yes, yes, I, no, I, I, I will agree with that. Well, I don't know, okay. I don't know what, I don't know what your opinion is, right. but in general, my opinion is not normal. Okay. I, I, will, I will give you. <clears throat> well, that it's part. different than mine. I don't, you know, define normal. I don't know, but. Yeah. Well, I, I don't, don't know what normal is either. I don't know. If, I don't know how normal I am. I'm hoping, and, and I don't either. I mean, I don't know. Um, there could be that, that you do have a, a, a mental health issue that could be treated with uh, medicines, but maybe you found the best treatment for you and it's better. Okay, well, that's, it's just to be alone. My, my, yeah, that's, that's the thing right there. I, um, so that kind of my, leads me to the fourth thing. My, 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 my mental state is... A lot better than it is right now because I am in this situation. If I were home, uh, I can't say 100%, but uh, if you came out tomorrow afternoon and gave me the poly polygraph at my place, I'm sure it would be different. Well, to, 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 to some extent. I'm probably never going to be involved with attempting to do a polygraph with you again because. For whatever reason, we couldn't complete this one, and this was the best try, the best chance we probably ever had at that. Okay. So I'm stuck with the fourth thing was that you do like to be alone. Yes. And I imagine even a renter on the property could get under your skin sometime, even if a guy kept to himself. Um. And then the fifth thing not, is not, all the not, other not, evidence. Not, not really. But. Okay, all the other yeah. evidence that involves your admissions that you ended up putting him out of his misery, uh, the fact that they're finding, a, uh, I think it's one of his body parts elsewhere. Yes. Well, like yeah, I I've seen coyotes move stuff, and that yeah, certainly that, could be true. That, that was from... I think it's possible. He, you know, let, let me get to, I, the, let I, me get to I, the point. Okay, I, 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 yeah, I, I shot I him think, here. I shot him here. I, you know, I was... Very worried about my animals being put down because yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. And um, after a couple of days, I went out and I picked up what was remaining and the clothes, and I got rid of the clothes. And I have no idea, no idea at all, how any part of him got from where he was to where they 
found the lake. Oh, Susan, was your thinking that if you left his body out in that pen long enough that almost everything would be destroyed and then you would have less to take care of? Um, I... Um, like the pigs would be a cleanup crew, they do what they do, they, like you said? Um, I... Um, I could have left them, I could have left him there for longer, and that would be true, but um, I couldn't do it. Two days, you said, though. Two yes. days later, you went out there. Yes. Well, I mean, I, I, saw, I saw him out there, and it made me sick. Um, I didn't actually throw up, but it made me feel sick. And... Um, uh, I just could not, even though, even though he was no longer a person, he was just okay. some body parts, mm -hmm. even though there were some body parts out there, I could no longer uh, have my animals eating him. But for two and days you left him out there yes, so they could do that. Yes, okay. I did. I did, and it was it was somewhat difficult. Uh, I left him out there, and um, after a couple of days, I went out and I picked up what I believed to be the rest of him. Sometime during those couple of days. Um, Oh, oh, the only thing I can think of is a coyote grabbed the leg and moved it. Yep. I went, I, I went ahead. I picked up what was left. I put it in a couple plastic bags. I put it inside. And over the next month and a half or whatever, um, I... Um, um, I dealt with the um, um, this, I dealt with the situation of having his remains there instead of just taking them out and getting rid of them on some hillside. So you considered doing that? I, I considered it, but I did not it did not feel right. Did you feel like it would be your best defense if you were ever to be found out what happened to have that there to no. show that you... No, no. Right. No, I mean, what? Were you concerned of getting caught going somewhere with body parts, like driving down the road and getting pulled no, over? Okay. No, I, I just did not feel... Um, I did not feel right just, you know, throwing them out yeah. somewhere. Uh, if if I had done that, and I had and the coyote whatever had not moved that leg, we would not be here right now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know what a hypothesis is, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I. Um, an educated guess based yes. on some facts yes. and theories. Yes, uh, no, I, I know what a hypothesis is. And, um, Do you want to take a guess at what my hypothesis is? Go ahead. You don't want to try? Um, no. Susan, I can appreciate the situation that you're in. It's not good. I mean, even, even after. I, real, I realize my situation is not good. Even after the death. Yes. To allow animals to feed on a corpse is a crime. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, they're probably going to deal with that. Yes. Later on. But right now, you and me are in here, and I'm trying to find the truth of what really happened. Yes. And I truly believe that you haven't been 100% forthright with everything that happened. I truly believe there's more that you could tell. I think you're self-protective. It's an animal instinct we all have. It's the whole reason polygraph usually works. Yes. It's that fight or flight. It's that... Uh, need to protect yourself almost at all costs. Yes. And usually that happens with people and, and educated people and people that are, are thinkers like you do. I mean, until they can like 
until they think they can be it can be proven that they did something they're not going to admit it they're going to come up with uh, ways to kind of get around that and so what they do is they, they tell pieces of the truth they tell all this stuff and uh, and I think that's what happened with you this is the truth this is the truth this is the truth and so on but there are things in between yes things that you haven't told us about yes I think this is your last best chance to do that before they make decisions that you're going to be stuck with forever. What I think, based my hypothesis, yes. an educated guess, because I've talked to so many people in situations where they've done things that they're embarrassed about, they're afraid to, to tell the truth, they don't know what's going to happen. What I think is it's very likely that there was some sort of altercation between you and Robert before. Maybe you were in an anxiety attack. Maybe you did something even, I don't know what, no. knocked him down, yeah. accidental or whatever. No. But I think you knew he was in that pen and in the distress beforehand. I really did. No, no. I, I understand that if you came out later and he was uh, maybe still alive or you thought he was, that you felt you needed to finish him off. But I, 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 that, was, that was what I felt, that he was, um, I, I, when I say, as I... There's almost no other plausible explanation for how he ended up in that pen, I have no incapacitated idea. to the point where the pigs could harm him. I have no idea how he got into that pen at all. And None that's the part that I think yeah. maybe you're not being okay. truthful about. Maybe you know. Maybe it was somebody else. Maybe you were involved. I don't know. I was, I was, um, I was not involved with any other person in the death of Robert. Just you. Just, just me. And your pigs. And, yes, me and my pigs. So, how in the hell could he have become in that pen with pigs eating on I, him? Uh, unless it, he was it, in some sort of distress. It's, it's been about a month and a half or two months, and to this very second, I have no idea how he possibly got in there and. Do you ever, in your um, anxiety, does it ever get so bad that you don't remember facts? No. No. I'm always, um, uh, always uh, conscious of my environment. Okay. Um, I think when we first met, you said you had some memory issues, but you're good with numbers and you're good with some other things. I am. I am. I am terrible with. People and uh, uh, cars and whatnot. I mean, I saw a white car. I don't know if it was a Toyota or a Cadillac. Well, uh, and actually, today's Cadillacs look like Toyotas to me. I don't know what I don't know what kind of car it was. No idea. It was white. It was had four doors. <coughs> and as I have gone over it. Uh, talking about it, the car was going out of the driveway, so at some time it had come in and turned around. Robert came up to me, uh, and then he went back down to the car, got onto the passenger side. I do not know if it were actually the front side or the front front seat or the back seat. I was just looking at it through the trees down there. And I, it drove off. That's when he disappeared. That was the last. That that was the last time I saw him. Okay. And then after that, it was over. A, it was approximately a month after that that um, his son called, and I talked with him on the phone. Told him what was going on, and uh, he was very concerned about his father, and he said to me that his father had not talked to his uh, his sister. Yeah, and, I know. We've we talked about right. that. Yeah. And he, We've and talked he, about that, Susan. Yeah, so I could not, at that time, I could not understand why someone did not contact you 
earlier. Well, you say me, but I'm not the police. Well, I'm I saying, know what you're saying. The, in general. Yeah. Author, uh, contact authorities. I'm yeah. telling you what I think is that you're not being truthful okay. and you're withholding information from this investigation. Oh. I truly believe that. Whether it's about, I don't know. Um, I don't know. If they find other body parts from other people, then you know the situation you'd be in. And I just kind of doubt that that's going to happen. I think this is a one-time thing, personally. And I think it was a, an accident that you didn't mean to happen during an anxiety attack. It all fits. It's kind of the stuff that kind of leaks out of people when I talk to them. It's like, well, you get a little bit here and a little bit there. You talked about choking uh, people. You talked about... Uh, I you're about inside. People. Yeah, you made a comment in there about I can't remember what I did write it down. It was a little interesting. I don't remember saying anything about yeah, you, know, you never said you choked him or you never said you choked anybody. It was come more along as like what something you like to do or you thought about doing. I'd like to. Well, I can't remember. I'd like to know what I said about that. Well, we they'd have to probably play back the tape because my notes aren't that really great, but Oh, strangle. I said strangle? Yeah, I said, I was talking about second chances. Remember talking about that? Oh, yes, okay. You said if I killed him for trying to rape me, it would be a justified homicide. Yes. And I, I agree. Yes. You said, I cannot think of a reason for killing someone just for the hell of it or because you has had a sexual fantasy or something and you strangle them. Okay. No, I, I, I. No, well, that's what you said. I, I, I thought I, I thought I, I thought I had said they were strangling me or something. No. Okay. I got it in quotes. This is how I heard it. I cannot okay. think of a reason for killing someone just for the hell of it, or because you had a sexual fantasy or something and you strangled them. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Well, you I, know the I, human I, mind is amazing. I, I'm, I mis, I misspoke on that thing. I don't think you misspoke. I think but, that that's. Because I asked you a question where I caused you to think about second chances. Yeah. <clears throat> what people do is they try, because of this self-protective mode, when I ask them that question, they think, well, maybe I should get a second chance, and so maybe I should tell this guy what their second chance, what reasons that you have yes. for a second chance. Yes. And I agree. If you strangle somebody... And because something happened through their fantasy or they've tried to take advantage of you or there was some something else going on. Any, I, anything a possibility. Yeah. Anxiety attack, I think. Well, I did. I, I have. I haven't had a legitimate anxiety attack. Even today, I've been. You've been doing great. I've, I've been. I've been anxious, but I have not really gone crazy like I have in the past. Okay. And. Um, um, and when you have an anxiety attack, you can become homicidal, you said. Yes, I've, I've never done it, but I have felt it. Well, I think maybe you did do it. I, um, I don't think maybe you intended to do it. I, I did not. But I think, well, it's possible. I guess no. It's got to be in the realm of possibility for me. Well, I mean... Um, now, if they find proof that... If they find proof, and I don't know if they will or not. I, I don't know. I, could, um, I said... <coughs> When I shot him, I wasn't even looking at him, really. I, and I cannot honestly say if I shot him once or if I shot him six times. Okay, but see, but that's the thing. That's the thing I'm talking about, Susan. That could very well be true, that that's how his life actually ended. Yes. Okay? But before that, how he ended up in that pen, I don't you know, know, being disemboweled by your pigs. I, I do not know. I, I think it's possible. It's got to be in the realm of possibility. In my way of thinking, my hypothesis, yes. if you will, that you did know, for whatever reason, but all together, that's got to be a possibility in my mind. And you just don't want to tell me that because you think we're going to view you differently. What I'm trying to tell you is logically, if something happened through anxiety, and this is yes. truly what happened, yes. and, you, and you clearly tell us what happened, and it matches the facts... That might be the best case scenario for you. You can get whatever help you need for your anxiety. They can solve the death of Robert more clearly. But and you. But, but what? But but I don't I don't want to. Um, I don't want to. Um, um, 
I don't want to fulfill your hypotheses, or I don't want to affirm, I do not want to affirm your hypotheses by saying that I had a panic attack and shot him and dragged him outside. Right. And you know what? Because I agree with you. I do not want you to say something that isn't true. But that's, that's why I'm... Um, that's why I'm trying to say I came down in the morning the pigs did not go over to where I normally feed them and I was curious let me help you out with this I believe that happened that seems so believable to me I believe that that morning when you came out well you're changing your hypothesis no 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 from that point on I believe that's all true, that that happened, just like you said. But what happened before is the stuff you're not telling me about. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think there is. I, that, that's I, all I'm I, saying. I, I don't know why. I don't know if he went in there by himself. I don't know if there was somebody else out there. I have had, uh, I have had people come on my property several times and steal things from me. I believe uh, I believe that Robert's uh, uh, son and relative stole from me uh, because they saw stuff there and they <coughs> thought it might be his and took it. I do not know um, um, I do not know why or how he got into that pen. Um, I do not know if at some time over the past six months or whatever he had ever gone into the pen. I do not know if over the last six months if he ever gave food to the pigs. Um, he might have, I'm hypothesizing, he might have had um, some food that he wanted to give to the pigs. So he's gone for a month. Then he shows he, up. He, he was gone for he was gone for over a month. So he's gone for over a month. Yes. And the very first thing he does is come back and go into the pig pen. Um, you have never seen him before. Right. I'm, I'm, I. This is. I, just, okay. I have no idea. I'm just saying this. You know. Um, if if um, he came back, went down to his camper, saw some rotten food, and brought it up and gave it to the pigs, no. I I don't I don't know. It doesn't. So it, you see, you it, have it, your own hypothesis. It, it, no, I don't. I. You do this what you're doing. I, I I'm making a very big leap. I do not think that I do not think that that happened. It's it's not in it's not in my realm of things that might have happened. I do not know what happened. This is something that's and see, and that's where, with all due respect, Susan, I have a hard time believing that. This, well, that's why I'm saying this is something that could have happened, but. Even though it could have happened, I'm not saying I think it did happen because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, I never, ever, and I'll say this right now, <clears throat> I never want people to say things that aren't true to me. I don't want them to say things just to make me happy or make me go away or anything like that. Yeah. I'm familiar with what a false confession is, and I don't want any part of it. No, I'm, I'm not making a false confession. I'm I know you're not. I'm simply saying. I'm telling you this up front. This is, I'm, I'm simply saying that. This does not make any sense to me. It has never made any sense to me yeah. why he ended up in there. Yeah. Um, if, like I said, if if he had taken some food and tried to give it to the pigs, if somebody else, there's a lot of people I think probably know of my weird sense of humor, uh, and wanted to get rid of Robert, stabbed him and threw him out there. I. This is a Total, totally off the wall thing. I do not think it happened. 
I have no idea how it's happened. Okay, I know you've said that. You've been saying that all day. Yeah. I'm just telling you that I think quite possibly the reason we couldn't get through the polygraph is because you know that there's something that you're afraid is going to trip you up. One of those things in there that you don't want to say. And oh, I'm sorry, I, th I think you should say it. I think it's the best thing for you, actually. Uh, because otherwise people's imaginations do. Go well, that's, to that's, that's kind of where my imagination is, is going. <clears throat> I, can't, well, I, I, can't, I can't think of a reason for him to be there. Well, I think mathematically the probability that he got in there all by himself is a lot less than someone helped him in there, injured. And likely, uh, likely, as likely as anybody, because of your actions afterwards, yeah. and because of the things you said before, joking about feeding people to your pigs and whatever. Well, like I said, that's always that's always been my weird sense of humor. Okay, I can get a weird sense of humor, yeah. but when it, then it turns around and it actually happens, <laughs> um, that's not too good for you. No, I'm, I definitely know that, and that's... That is, uh, that is part of the reason that I did not come forward sooner. Wow, I know, I can uh, imagine. You know, I, you know, I threatened to kill people, and all of a sudden, I got somebody out there. It's and then you, know, you kill them. Yes, um, I have, I have, I have never, uh, I have never actually considered it as a thing to do. I have always considered it as a joke. Susan, do you think you're guilty of any crime in the death of Robert? I am guilty of not reporting it and um, uh, I am guilty of not reporting a homicide and for the um, um, illegal distribution of a corpse. Okay. Those, those things I am guilty of. I am guilty of those two things. And by your statements earlier, you, you may be guilty of actually ending his life uh, because he was moaning. I I did not have the slightest possibility. There, there, no, there was not the slightest possibility in my mind that he was going to live more than a few minutes. Even, okay, so e e even if. It was an ambulance okay. Well, okay. 10 feet away. So let's say I drive up on a traffic crash and I see someone that's dying. They're obviously dying within a couple of minutes. Is it, Ill, is it legal for me to kill them? Uh, I, no, it's not. However, in my situation, he was being tortured by my animals. But you weren't going to kill them. I, for just doing what they do. Right. I, I, I understand. I, 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 did, I didn't want to... If I, had, I could have killed my animal, <clears throat> and within a couple of minutes he would have been dead. I'm 99.99% .99 sure he would have been dead in a couple of minutes anyway. Yeah. And... Um, it's all uh, hindsight. I, 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 I realize that, but... I just did. But I'm having a hard I, I, time I, believing I, I, that you I, didn't I, know I, he was I, in there. I, I just, I, huh? I have a hard time believing that you didn't know he was in there before. No, I have no, no idea. I have no I just idea. Just have a hard time believing that. I, I do not know how he got in there. It is in the realm of possibility, but I don't think it's a very big chance that that's true. No, I, I, I don't know how he got in there if. Like you say, he possibly walked in there by himself. But no, you said that. Well, I no, I, you said that later. But anyway, I, I think you took him in there. No. Because I think some accidental happened before, and you you fell back no. on what you. No. Oh, all right. 
nothing, nothing accidental happened to Robert from me to cause his death. Okay. Nothing. Okay. I had nothing to do with his death. Prior to him pri being pri 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 prior to him being in the pig pen. His his shirt was up. His pants were on. His shirt was up, and they had gone like this, and somehow were eating him. I have no idea how he got in there. The most the, um, the most logical thing is that he went in there by himself, possibly for the reason I gave. But it doesn't make any sense to me why he would do it. You know, if if yeah, if he wanted, if, if I, I, that's the thing, I don't either. I'm saying it's possible, but if you're going to feed, if you're going to feed the pigs, I do. I I never. <coughs> I never go into the pigs when I'm feeding them. Never. Can, can the pigs go in and out of the pen and where else they eat? No. You no. have to let them in there. The the pigs are in. There's the, there's the barn, and most of the time the pigs are on the south side of the barn. They have a large area to wander around. They have trees to rub up against. They have a small shelter that they've kind of destroyed, but there is a shelter. And they can wander all around in there. And if I am feeding them, I feed them at the back of the barn. I never... and no one should ever, to my knowledge, think. Um, I do not see why, if he had food, he does not just throw it over the fence. Yeah, it doesn't make any it, sense it, to me. No, it, that's the thing. It doesn't make any so, sense. So the pigs get to go from the pen to anywhere else? Is there a gate that keeps them in? There, 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 there are gates. Do you but keep them separate at night? Do you leave them in the pen at night? What do you do? No, with they, they stay in the pen all the time. Okay. I, I told the officer right. here, um, you know, they want to go out and search for uh, shell, shell cases. They want to go out and search. Because you left them out there in the pen. Yes, they're, they're, they've always been out there. So, okay. yeah, I'm not... All right. Well, we're just going to be rehashing stuff. So, um, Susan, I think I better let you talk to the other detectives, okay? okay. Because I've, I've already uh, I've formulated my opinion. Yes. I think you're withholding information. I think that's why you couldn't complete the polygraph exam. Um, I don't know what that information is, and I hate to just like, throw up my own ideas. Right. It's it's uh, it's not productive. Right. I think you know exactly what you're withholding from them. Little pieces that you haven't told them I, yet. I, I, I think I, you should tell them. That's I, what I, I think. I, I, I don't know. That's my advice I, I, to you. I, I don't know what it might, it might be, but I do know that um, I did not have a panic attack and shoot him. All right. Um, or anything similar to that. And I have no idea how he got out there. Well, I know that's what you say. I just have a hard time believing that. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, my other thing is, um, it, if, if I did shoot him and feed him to the pigs, why did I leave all those bones there for all this time? Susan, anybody that would shoot somebody and feed them to your pigs is capable of irrational thinking. Why someone would then keep the body parts for a couple months is another irrational thought. Don't ask me to add, answer oh, yeah, that. Yeah, I no, have no idea. Um, no, I, 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 I do agree with you on that, but I guess I'm, I'm always trying to be very rational, and it doesn't make any sense to me. Well, it may have seemed rational to you at the time, whenever that was, to dispose of someone that was dead on your property. That could have been Robert. <clears throat> she could have died of a heart attack. But you don't want you don't want to report that because you've had problems with the law enforcement before. And the easiest thing to do is dispose of the body. If that's the truth or something like that, they just need to know that. You'll save yourself a lot of grief and them a lot of time digging up all your property, looking for other body parts. But I did shoot him. 
We know that. Okay, well. We, agree, we have believed that. Okay, well. It, it, but it, did you throw him in the pen because he was dead already or injured for some other reason, and you're just trying to get rid of him, to get rid of the problem? Well, that's and then your conscience if, played on you, and then you. If 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 he had a heart attack, and I threw him in there, why would I shoot him? Good question. Maybe he wasn't actually dead. Maybe you thought he was, but it turned out he wasn't. I don't know. I um, wasn't there, but you were. I I I. And you know what the truth is. That's I what I'm I saying. just I just don't know. I just don't know why he ended up. In that pen. I just do not know. Well, I think you know something else about how I, you ended up I, in that I, pen. I, 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 obviously, I may do. I don't know what it is. I do not know how he ended up well, in the pen. Well, you've got a month or so to think about it. And I think you know what it is. And you just don't want to tell these guys. I don't blame you. It'd be kind of scary to be in that situation because everything seems to be coming but, but, down on you. Uh, it, it does seem to be coming down on me, but I don't want to. I, I don't want to try to put put some kind of a fact to your hypotheses no, when, it's, when, it's, when it's not true. I just want you to if, tell me if, if <coughs> what it is you haven't told them already. I, I honestly don't know what else it is. I do not, I do not know how he got into that pen. No, it I, do, I don't think that's true. It, 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 it doesn't make sense to me how he got in the pen, but I just, um, I don't know. And I don't think that's true. Because I think you have a piece of this that you're not giving them. Well, I just say. And I'm, you already know what it is. Um. And you're just wasting time because you should have already told them. Well, like I say, I don't. If if he had a heart attack, um, I those are my words. I don't I, know. I don't. I don't know either. I, I'm saying if he, if he had a heart attack, I could have just said, "Hey, come out and get Robert." Mm -hmm. he, he, you know. Um, but it would mess up your your whole story, though, because he was gone all this time. No, it wouldn't have messed up the story at all. It wouldn't have messed up the story. Well, if, if, if sometime, if sometime over, uh, he, he, he could have come back. He could have come back. You would have known if he came back, though. He, no. Uh, he could have come back two days later and had a heart attack down there by his camper, and I would not have known it. The only time... Um, um, I went down there was every morning I did go down give the dog some food and water and he was on a little zip cord Robert's dog? Robert's, Robert's dog it's a little pug nose something I don't know it's a dog uh, after several weeks it got loose and it came up to the house and at that time, I was concerned because I went back down to where his camper is. I knocked on the camper. I opened up the door. I went inside. It was a mess. And I came back out and decided that the dog simply got loose. He could have been laying 20 feet away from that camper, and I would not have known it because I did not look for him except in the camper. Which which is all doesn't matter unless for some reason you disposed of his body in the pen and you just don't want to tell us. But like I say it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. If if he was dead um, somewhere else. Some, some, if he was dead down there where his camper is. Right. Uh, my my justification um, for moving him and throwing him in the pig pen doesn't make any sense. 
Well, in my way of thinking, a lot of the things that you did do didn't make much sense either. Well, so I don't know. I, yes, I'm, I'm simply. And it could be. Uh, yeah, um, it could be that you know something you don't want to tell these guys, and, and I can appreciate that, but I think it's better if you do. Because I think you know something. And shooting him later could have happened just because you wanted to make sure he was dead, because it was no, bugging no, you. No, 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 I'm not. Uh, Shooting him, shooting him doesn't make sense unless you think he's still alive. That's the whole thing. You know, if 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 I found him, if I found him somewhere else, and uh, I can't pick him up. Um, uh, if I found him down there in the ditch 20, 30 feet, whatever away from his camper dead and I took my backhoe down there rolled him into the backhoe and brought him up and dumped him in the pig pen somewhere along that timeline he would have said something ouch, I don't know maybe, maybe not well, I can say if he, if he were if he were dead, he wouldn't. But if I'm moving him, you know, if I'm taking a body and rolling him into the bucket of my backhoe, which I did not do, I'm saying. No, why are you saying that? I, I'm 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 trying. I do not I do not know how he got there. There is no there there is none of his blood in my backhoe. Uh, I'm just trying to. You know, you mentioned the heart attack. I'm trying to think uh, if for some reason he had a heart attack somewhere, I would have simply called and said, hey, yeah. there's a dead guy here. Come pick him up. Yeah. Um, to do yeah. all this, to, to, to shoot him after he was <laughs> dead, to shoot him after he was dead to my belief, well, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a circular argument because we just keep going around and around. But honestly, oh, yeah. Susan, I think, based on my experience, my time with you, and everything else I've seen, that's a very, very strong likelihood that you have additional information that you just don't want to tell them. I, Whatever it is, yeah, I don't I, know. I, I don't want to give I, you ideas. I don't want to put I, thoughts in no, your mind. I, I simply want you to tell them. Well, you already know you haven't. Whatever yeah. that is. Well, it's what whatever it is. Whatever possibility it is is in my subconscious. No, it's it, no. I, I, and it I, is I, in your conscious. Oh, well, you know what it okay, is. I, I, I do not know how he got in that camp. I don't know how he got in the camp. I did not. Well, you certainly away. saw him before he got in that pen. I did not. The, well, <laughs> uh, and, and we, we got to disagree. I, 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 I realize that. I did not see him before the morning where I saw him gutted and dying in the pen. I don't know uh, if, if he had some rotten food to give to the pigs. I can only see him throwing it over the fence. I can't see anyone going into the pig pen with food. Yeah. Um, I have never done that. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, I, you know, when when pigs see food, they go for the food. Yeah. Um, it it doesn't make any sense to me that he would do that. He did not seem. Well, what's not? He he, he he did he did not seem. That irrational. Uh, like I said about John, <laughs> he he would have tried to feed him to him by hand or something. Uh, yeah. Let's not spend any more time talking about what may or may not have happened, because I think you already know what you should say, and you just don't want to say it. That's my opinion. So you're not going to convince me of anything. Okay. Different. With all due respect. Yeah. I've never been in your situation. I don't know yeah. what's all going through your mind or what you're thinking you may or may not, you know, get or may or may not happen to you. 
I simply wanted to give you every opportunity possible to tell me those things that you I, haven't told me yet. I, I, and I, it's I, not in I, your subconscious. I, 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 I do you're, realize that, but I can't. You're smart enough to know what it is. Um, you know what it is. I, and, I, I, can't, and, I can't think of And I think if there's any going to be any mercy in this case for you and your situation, then it's only going to come when they truly believe that you've told them everything, and they can back it up with evidence. Yeah. Um, Help them know what to look for to prove that you're being truthful. I don't think you've done that completely. Uh, well, when they when they examine the body, the, um, well, well, what not, body? Well, that's what I'm saying. When when they I, I started to change my thing, I said body. When they examine the skull, they will find um, on the on the left. They will uh, when they examine the skull, they will find a bullet hole. Somewhere in to the left side of his head. Okay. Just one. I uh, I honestly do not know. I was I was temporarily insane. Very temporarily. Um. I went up and I could not. When 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 I kill an animal. I look at the animal, and there's a little picture in the book that says you're supposed to make uh, an X between the uh, the right eye, the, the the right eye, and the left ear, and the left e right, eye and, and the right ear. That's where in that that's where you're supposed to shoot them in between the ears and the eyes where that cross is. But that's not where you shot him. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I fully suspect. I, I, he, he was, he was on the ground, and I could not look at him. I could, because, because, <clears throat> he, because he was a human being, and I have never done anything like this before. I could not look at him and shoot him. Susan, if they find one hole in his skull. And six round, empty rounds in the pen with their metal detectors or whatever they're doing. They, they're going to say it's because the other five went into his body somewhere, which we don't have a body left to examine. Right, right. Which means you shot him multiple times I in the body and then once in the head to finish him off. I, if I, they find those rounds there like that, yes. that's probably exactly what it means. And you don't want to tell them about that. I do not know... Um, you probably shot him while he's in the pit. More than just the time you're talking about. I, 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 For whatever I, reason. I, I do not know. Well, I don't um, believe you anymore. I, well. And the um, more you talk, the, more I, the less I believe that you're ever going to um, be truthful with me about it. So I think you should talk to yeah, somebody else, okay? okay? I, I just don't know how many times I shot him. Well, if they find one in the head... And multiple rounds, yep, spent rounds. It means the other ones probably went into his body. Well, they uh, they certainly may find other rounds all over the place. Well, maybe. But I'm, I'm I don't know how good your metal detectors are. I don't either. Well, I'm saying I don't know how good they are, but it's a great big pen, and I don't know exactly how far the uh, the rounds come out of the rifle after you shoot it, and um, I do not remember being in the pen and shooting any other animals. Uh, I remember several times being in the barn, and if they look around in the barn, um, where, um, where the body parts are now, they will find blood, and they will find um, bullets, uh, shell casings. Where you killed other animals. Where I killed other animals. Okay. But Robert, I shot outside, and a couple of days later, I put him in some bags, and I brought him in. So they will find, they will find his I don't know how well the bags were sealed up, 
but they will find there um, some of they will possibly find some of his blood there. Uh, his, his, his blood is nowhere else in the barn. The only place that his blood can possibly be found is right there where the bones are now, or remains are now. Okay. <clears throat> um, I, have, uh, I have killed several animals uh, in the general vicinity of the front part of the barn. I don't know how good your Luminol, um, I think that's the word. Yeah. Is we're, we're I, just, you 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 will find blood uh, from from that door to the front of the barn. You will find a large amount of blood. It's been a long time since it's been there. I've never used anything to clean it up. Right. It, well, it, this is it, all this is all good, but I think you know more than you're telling them about Robert's death, and that's all I'm asking you about. Yeah. And you're missing your best chance to tell them now before they either prove it otherwise, or later on you figure out, you know, now I better tell them the truth because I'm facing something serious, and I think you missed your chance. But I gotta no. I gotta go take a break. Um, I'll send someone else in here and talk. Okay. Yeah. I'm, well, you need to tell them the truth. You're leaving stuff out, and you and I know it. I've, you and I know it. It's not I've, subconscious, Susan. You're leaving it out. I, 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 I might be, but I really can't. No, you are. Tell them the whole story. Um, Tell I, them. I don't know what else it would be. I just, you know. Yes, you do. I, I found him out in the pen, dying. Yeah, but Minute. what happened before? That's what you're leaving out. I didn't even see him the day until the until that day. Oh, shit. I have no idea. No idea. Why can't you learn to sit still? 